Hey everybody and welcome back to iHeart Board Games Live on Twitch. Today we have a special treat for you. It is Steffenfeld's Forum Trajanum. Or Trajanum. Or Trajanum. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, Forum Trajanum is published by Stronghold Games. I am Ronald and with me I have... Joe! And we have our other hosts as well. Melissa! And Jesse. Lumberjack Ronald. I think he's saying because I have facial hair. Uh, and Ninja <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> yeah, I think she needs to work on the stealth. <laughs> yeah, a bit. A bit. Well, hurry and open your candy before yes, I have yes. to get into a rules yes. explanation. Yes, 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 I was to so, um, we are iHeart Board Games. We are here on Sundays and Mondays and Wednesdays. And hey, Slivers, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Go ahead. Crinkle, crinkle. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Couldn't do that before the, we started. Hold it closer to the microphone. Next she didn't yeah. know we were going to go live at 3 o'clock. We never do that, you know. That's true. That's why when you're going to schedule now, you weren't for them. It was for, <laughs> it was for Melissa. Yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 Central. Sundays at 3 Central. 3? Three? Three? Okay. <laughs> new time. <laughs> <laughs> <A> new time. <laughs> Slivers is going to take a nap while we play Stephen Feld. <laughs> Um, hey Rex! Hey Rex! Hey Rex! This game's complicated. I mean, easy. <laughs> this one is pretty uh, complicated. Yep. I was. I had a lot of trouble getting through the rule book, and I'm so glad we did a practice play on Friday because I would be lost. You haven't missed anything yet, Rex. We haven't no, we even just started. Had you. We've only just arrived. <laughs> I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> um. So, uh, Jesse, Melissa, and I each got to practice this game on Friday. Thank God. Uh, we you had a learning chocolate game. Chocolate day. I'm going to celebrate that after this. Yeah. Thank you, I had chocolate Thank with you. breakfast this morning. <laughs> and Joe has never played this game before, but he told me earlier that he didn't memorize the rule book, but then realized he'd memorized the French rule book and doesn't speak French. So yeah. he does need me to still explain it. I hate when that happens. Yeah, this rule book, when I first pulled it out, I was like, oh my goodness, this is like you, you, way too You think long. I learned after the fourth or fifth time, but now it's, it's like a magazine. Uh, but only half of it is in English, the other half is in French. Especially uh, when I go to buy board games and ask for the French version. Hey, They're like, do you, do you speak French? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I don't know who that is. Miguel is a grad. No, I haven't heard that. I've heard uh, John Belushi. Has anyone told you that you look similar to actor Miguel Izaguirre? Who is Miguel Izaguirre? Hmm. I don't know. Let's look him up while y'all discuss. And then, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Is that the right pronunciation of that? I don't know. I don't know you know what else I don't know how to pronounce? <laughs> Forum Trajanum. 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 Well, in the, the Trajanum. 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 <laughs> Where is it? Is it okay, I can see it. A little bit. If you were a little bit more Latino. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, he's like Any the Latin Latino. version of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thing in the background's triggering you. <laughs> what is? Uh, it's just uh, you know that gladiator. Is that thing. Emperor Trajan? Yeah. What is it? Pizza and also pizza? the other. It's the, the Brothers Merp! Uh, hey. hey guys! How's hey it going? Bros. Have you guys played Forum Trajanum before? Trajanum. By Stefan Feld? <laughs> yeah, it's a Feld. It's, yes, it's a fail. <laughs> but will it be a fail? A what? A board game fail. Oh. Uh, uh. Cool. Trying to make a pun, it didn't work. <laughs> I being Mike, but also Nick as well. We are the same. Ah. <laughs> Which one? Ah, yes. uh, Typically, I suspect Nick, but now that the offices have changed up, it's probably mostly Mike. Oh, so I don't know. I guess it's I two mean, streets. one and the same. One and the same. There's two streets here. You need to combine your names like uh, like Benefer. You know? <laughs> How so do you combine Nick, Nick, Nick and Mike? Mike. Nike? 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 And then you get a cease and desist, <laughs> cease and desist from Nike. The brother's Nike. Nike. No, but it's but like... But then we're really confusing Nike. everybody because Nike. Nike. 
Mick. Mackie was a Mick. Yeah, Mick. Isn't that Mick. a that a offensive term for something? I don't yeah. remember which. Did you say you're taking the Mick? Yeah. It didn't go well. <laughs> What's that? Are you taking the Mick or something like that? Mick. I thought that was like some Irish thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Irish slur. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um. Well, Mike is. But short Mick is for also a short for like. Uh, Michael. Michael and Nicholas, so some way to. Mickle. Nicholas. Or, uh, We're making it longer. <laughs> Michael. I don't know. They seem to be hey, on. Hey, Dark Lord Dark Cookie. Cookie. Yay. They seem to be Oh, Cookie. I always oh. say that you're taking the piss. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so good Dark to Lord see Dark Lord Cookie, you. bass player on Twitch. Yep. The Brothers Merv are pretty Irish, so that makes sense. Oh, okay. So we'll just call you by a slur name. Great. No, 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 let's, no, no. let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Mike Nick. so Mike, Mike. Mike, uh, Mike. <laughs> who's so excited to learn how to play Forum Trajanum? Yay! All right, so Yay. Forum Trajanum is played over three rounds. Each of the rounds has four, uh, four, three, three eras, I guess you might say, and each of them has four turns. So we're gonna have twelve turns total, and then the game will be over. Whoever has the most points wins. Well, that seems short. Let's go. How do you get points? <laughs> this is a point salad game. So you put your lettuce and your tomato together and you get points. Mm -hmm. um, Don't forget the dressing. <laughs> put a little bit of um, slivers too. He's such a fell guy. I heard that he really enjoyed Castles of Burgundy. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes. So, Forum Trajanum will be your lullaby. <laughs> it might work. It might work. So, each round, what we're going to do is we're going to flip over two of these cards. I'll ask Jesse to do it since he's so much closer. Flip he's going to flip two cards up there. Cards. And those Ooh. cards have some images on them. So this one has a white dog or fox or something. Oh, it's the lady. Oh, you know what that is? What? <laughs> you know, the There's founding the of Rome, the wolf with the two Remus children Romulus. nursing. Remus and Romulus. Yes. Okay. That's what that is. Wow. <laughs> Cool. And then we have um, a guy over the here, a fighter. Is it a like fighter. gladiator? We got the wolf. We got the fighter. All right. So these shapes appear on the outside of our player board, which is called a colonia. So in this case, we pulled this card, which represents this street right here, and we pulled this card, which represents this street right here. So what we do is we select one uh -huh. tile from here and one tile from here. So maybe I'll select this one from here, and maybe I select um, that one from there, and then I'm gonna have a look at them. After I look at them, I decide which one I wanna keep for myself and which one I wanna pass to the right. So at the same time that I'm doing that, I'm passing that to Joe, Melissa's gonna pass me one, so let's just say she passed me this one. No, not that one! <laughs> <laughs> then I get to look at, I'm gonna put these two right here. And while we're, that's the, all that happens simultaneously, then in player order, you're going to look at these and decide which one do you actually want to use. They have different abilities on them. Some give you workers, some give you other kinds of workers, um, some give you money, all different kinds of things. Hello, Lannister. Whichever one I choose, um, I'm going to end up putting Melissa's tile over here. And I'm gonna end up putting my tile probably right here if it doesn't go in this area. Then I get the option to build. So how does building work? I'm going to, let's say I built a, um, the yellow building. let's say I have removed this token from here and I would like to build, because I have a blue worker, a blue structure. So what I would do is I would spend my blue worker and I would get to build a blue structure somewhere on my uh, colonial that's open. Well, right now I only have one spot, so I might put it right there. Then because I built a blue structure, I could send this guy who's called my envoy, and I might have more guys stacked in here later on in the game, send him out into the forum. Since he was blue, he must go to a blue area. And if someone has already started a blue area, no matter who it is, and I decide to go into blue, I must go into that same blue area where they're at. Unless I have a special ability that negates that, which I do. Rule breakers. There's a lot of little things that let you break the rules in this game. 
So I would have to go into this blue area if I go back to blue again, or if anyone else did, they'd have to go into this blue area until this blue area is complete. But you might want to because completing an area gives you a bonus. These are the bonuses that you get when you complete an area. It also behooves you when you're building out here to build next to these eagles, because that's worth points, mm -hmm. uh, orthogonally adjacent to the eagle, unless you have a special ability that, let, that counts diagonals, like Melissa and I do. Mm -hmm. We all start with one special ability. Uh, the other thing you want to do is try to make one big area, one big area of your dudes, because that's going to give you more points based on this slider right here. So Joe has a slider right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the scoring point, which we're going to score three times in the game, he's going to see what is his biggest area, and he's going to compare that number to his slider. So let's say he had six guys together in one area. He would get three points, because that's the number this, that's shown here. Ignore everything I've said. When you said Forum Trajanum, I thought you were just being silly with the name Trajan. <laughs> I had no idea this was a Feld game. This whole time, I thought you were going to be playing Trajan. <laughs> Yes. Well, that's another Feld game. Mr. Another Feld time. made two games about the Emperor Trajan. One is called Trajan. It's from almost 10 years ago now, I think. Yeah. And the other one is called Forum Trajanum, which just came out last year? Last yeah, year. Fingers crossed he makes another one, so we can call yeah. it the Trajan Trilogy. Yes! I mean, he needs to hire you for marketing, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> Yes, Tywin Lannister, you got it right. It was Romulus. Trilogy, no one asked for. <laughs> Remus. This is so Yeah. Oh, so we were all asking for, we just didn't know So, that. once I've played my guy and I've built out in the uh, this area, then it becomes the next person's turn. And we just go all the way around until everybody's had a turn, and then we flip out two new cards. And when that stack of cards runs out, which represents four turns for each of us, there's eight cards in there, that represents the end of the first era, and we will do scoring. What do we score for? A bunch of stuff, and it's all listed on this nifty player aid right here. Mm. So um, the first thing we're gonna score for is something called our cranes, and that's something I haven't explained yet. One of hundreds of things I haven't explained yet. This one was here. In the corner, we have four different colored tokens. And these are called cranes. And what this is gonna do is at the end of each of the three eras, you're gonna check if you've uncovered any of your cranes. So like if this street came out, I could choose this one that was laying here. That would uncover my blue crane. That means it will behoove me to build blue buildings because at the end of the first era, every blue building I have is worth three points. But then this gets turned over and I can never get points for blue buildings again. But in the next round, maybe I uncover yellow and red, and both of those will be worth two points in the second era. And in the third era, whatever construction ones you have are worth one point. So it goes down, down, down. Down, down, mm -hmm. baby. Your street in a ranger. Forget that. <laughs> um, the next thing that you get uh, points for are gray buildings. So I explained how to make colored buildings by using the colored workers. Mm -hmm. But we also have gray workers here who help us build four different kinds of gray buildings. And each of the four gray buildings does something different. Um, so those are all right here, four different gray buildings. These three all represent a different track around the board. So we have the vase one here, the Libra one, and the scroll one. And when you build one of those ones, you just move up on that track and you either get what's pictured, or if you've moved up again, you can pick either one. So this one, you can pick all three of these, whichever one you want, you just get one. So that's what that does. Mm -hmm. um, the one with the pillar on it, that helps you build Trajan's pillar over here. So you get this many points plus a point for every citizen that you have. What are the citizens? The citizens are the things that grant you the special abilities I was talking about, and we all start with one. So you'll see over here on my board, I have a citizen, this guy right here is a citizen, he grants me this ability. So there's eight, six different ones that you can get special abilities for. Melissa and I picked the same one, Jesse and Joe picked different ones, we'll go over that in a second. Um, but the other thing that your citizens do is they count as a multiplier for all the gray buildings that are in each one of your rows. So if you have different gray buildings, 
you count each different gray building and each one is worth a number of points depending on how many citizens you have. So if, the, if I had any gray buildings in this row, they would each be worth two points as long as they were different. If I had any gray buildings in this row, they would only be worth one point because I don't have any citizens. And I would go down through every single row and I would get points like that for the gray buildings. Mm. The next thing that you get is being next to an eagle. So if you've put your dudes next to eagles, you get a point for every dude next to an eagle. And if you manage to get your guy on the eagle, you get two points for that. How do you do that? This track right here will let you do that. Uh, no, it's this track. This yeah. symbol right here means put your dude on the eagle. What happens if we don't reach the end of the track? Um, it's not going to come into play this game, but okay. um, sometimes you'll have cards that say you get different benefits. If you go off the track, you'll put your token over here next to Trajan's Pillar. Um, and <laughs> we, we don't have any in this game, so it's not okay. really going to make any difference. But that's what would happen if they would go over there. You don't get anything for it. All right. Um, so the eagles I talked about, okay, mm -hmm. then the envoys, I explained that you find your largest area of envoys that are out here, mm -hmm. and you multiply it times your slider, the number underneath the slider. And the last thing you do is Trajan tasks. So over here we have a card for each one of the eras. They're asking you to complete different tasks. So in the first era, our task is two gray buildings that are not the same as each other, mm -hmm. stacked on top of each other. They must be in that orientation. For every set you have, you will get a number of points dictated by your slider. So my slider has Trajan's face on it, and it also has some areas above it that show points. You check where your face is and which point area you're in, that's how many points you get for each time you've did that. So there's two different goals on the card, and they score different, they score separately. So the first thing is you check if you've built that thing. Yep, yeah. that's great. Did you build two buildings next to each other? Every time you did, you get, at the beginning of the game, three points, but you might upgrade it. And then you check down here if you've collected any of these items. It's completely different from this. They're not together. It's two different things. If I have two brown guys and a coin, every set of those, I also get that number of points. So that's the last thing that you get points for. And we have a different one at the end of each of the eras. So what's the bottom track for? The bottom track, remember, is your largest area over here. Okay. It's going to multiply that. times, well, it's going to just, you're going to see how many you have. So 10, you would see you have four points. Okay. Melissa managed to make 10 dudes all next to each other in the last game, but she did not upgrade this thing. If she had, she would have gotten 25 points. Yeah, I think it was at like midway. Yeah. Bye -bye. There's also a way you can flip this over which makes it even more powerful. So if you have the opportunity to do that, you may want to consider it, because this does help you score. So basically, once you've scored at the end of each of the three rounds, that's the end of the game. There's no in-game scoring. You'll score some things during the game, a few things here and there, but mostly you're gonna be scoring at the end of the three phases, and then you're done. Whoever has the most wins. Mm -hmm. Tiebreakers are, there's three of them. Do you remember what they are? Mm, First person I can pronounce Trajan right. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. That's exactly right. Yes. Like building. It's most things. active citizens. Oh. oh yes, I didn't talk about active and inactive citizens. Nope. Each time you get to the scoring phase, the first thing you have to do is pay for every row of citizens you have. So. If I put two citizens in this first row, it's just gonna cost one coin. But if I have a citizen in three different rows, it's gonna cost three coins. For every citizen I can't pay for, he gets flipped over, and it's as if he's not there at all. I don't get to use his ability, he doesn't count as a multiplier for when I count up points, so could really hurt you if you don't pay for your citizens. How do you get coins? Um, they will be on these the tiles. <laughs> um, you can also get a coin by doing a vase oh, yeah. building. You yeah. can get a coin there. Um, by completing an area, you can choose a coin as one of your rewards. There's lots of ways to do or everything do in this, this game. If you do this one, you can convert these two different ones into coins. Yep. So we have some dudes here that we start the game with. They all have special names. <laughs> uh, Leroy. Yes. No. This The white one Leroy is called Leroy a Davis. Tribune. The Tribune has two different uh, abilities. The first ability that he has is if you <laughs> if you discard both of the tribunes, you can use both 
of your tiles that you that you have, the one from your mm -hmm. opponent and yours. That's two tributes to do that. The other ability it has is if you discard one tribune, you can pretend that card was a wild and make it any street that you want. The colored guys I explained already are used for making colored buildings. The gray guys are used for making gray buildings. The brown ones are called assistants, and what they do is they convert workers into other colors. So if I, if I spent these two, I could convert them to some other color. He would turn him into a yellow or a red or a green. And then if you have some of these abilities over here, you might use the workers in other ways to get different things. So mm. Joe, you didn't get to choose which one you wanted. I'll choose this one. Probably a good idea. Terrible choice. Kidding. <laughs> what else have I not explained, guys? Oh, so, this so thing do, is going to gonna do get... this. I have to have another guy. So I use the brown guy to turn another guy to gray, or does nope. it turn the brown guy? He to just gray? converts. He just turns He's directly also into a gray, gray guy, pretty much. But you can use the brown guy to convert one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. So you yep. sacrifice two of them to get another color. Yep. That's, that's all he's actually ever good for, but now you've made him good for something else. So that's, he has purpose. I think, useful. And if you were to build he's, another one of these hammer dudes right here, you would just get a free gray guy. I'm certain that I have not explained everything, but let's just get started and we'll see what happens. Yes. And as we come up to it, um, we'll explain it as we go. How do you use the corner thing again? So if that row or oh, column row came up, you could select that one. Just be, just know that you're never going to be able to build on that spot because there's a construction crane there. Okay. And you can never build on these buildings here. Yeah, those are the temples, okay. and they're already built, so you can't knock those they down. Count as a, are, they, are they counted as a special building, or are they just no. blocks? No, they just block your, your stuff up, and okay. they're going to actually come into play in our third era here. It wants you to have oh, different colors. colors in every corner. Corners. The like corners. Here, 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 here. No. Oh, so corners. Okay, so that's it. Just like it's shown. Here, 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 and here. The corners. Oh, the corners. That was <laughs> you know, corners. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, these, the ones inside. The corners. Yes, not those <laughs> corners you were picking. Um, I'll also point out up here we have double buildings. Um, these are the gray and colored, and then just double colored. These can be used if you have like a, an open space with two next to each other. Like if I'd uncovered this and I had enough workers, I could do a double instead. And I would get both of the benefits in one turn. Because you can only choose like one thing to build, but it could be a double. Is that double double? How do you, do you have to sacrifice a colored one and a gray yep, one? Yep, okay. exactly. And it's gonna do both of those things. Okay. What's the benefit? That Besides covering two spots, I guess. Yeah, maybe. you'll cover up two spots at once. Could be uh, good. So if you're going for multiple of these things, you know, it's you can more try efficient and, to do it that way. Yeah, you try to work on it. Just be careful that you don't end up in a situation where the card that came out, you don't have anything in that row or column. There are special rules if that happens, but um, it's not optimal, I would say. So. Don't try not to pick things in a continuous row or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So try to be sparse. Well, so you have act. If every time a white comes up, I choose this row, then whenever this guy comes up, I'm going to be screwed. Okay. Because there's not going to be anything left. Okay. Fair. That's what it means. I never had that problem last time. Came close. We had one person last game who ended up having to spend a guy to make the last card, um, yeah, to make the last card um, a wild so that he could actually do it. Okay. All right, well, that's how you play. So now you guys can go play in your own kitchens, but, <laughs> or you can just stay here and watch us, which is just as fun. Um, I didn't explain this, but as each round comes, we're gonna be building this, and it makes it worth fewer and fewer points. So just yeah. be aware of that. It will reduce. So let's start. We already have our first two cards out, so you can just choose which two tiles you want to look at. All right. Once you look at them, that's it. That you are allowed to look at the first one before you pick the second one. Where are we? Soldier guy? Soldier guy. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. We 
here. You think you're so funny, huh? How did I end up sitting right of you again? Why is this so funny? Because of the last game. I want to get passing Ronald. So I keep one of these, and what I get what's on it? Is that what it is? No. no uh, you're going to put it here, and then you're going to choose between the one I gave you and the one you kept for yourself. So potentially you could get the one that's on it. Okay. The other one you're going to give to Jesse. And you will always pass to the right in this game. Um, so I can look at the one you oh, Yeah, you should look at them both yeah. and think about which one you want to, um, which one you want to use. So Jesse's going to start. We've all now got our tiles. So he's going to pick one to use. He's going to show you how to do it. Here's how you do it. <laughs> I'm going to put this down here. And this one's going to go off to the side, which I have a little bit of space here, so I'll use it. Since he didn't select Joe's, whether he'd selected Joe's or not, that tile ends up on the side of his board. Mm -hmm. It could come into play later if Joe is unable to pass him a tile. And if I had built something, I would put my envoy out, but I didn't. And it well, would have to be do a color you want to build something? Um, I don't think I. You have a red guy and a gray guy there, so. I do. But um. That's true, I could go ahead and get near points is what I could do. Since I don't have the corner things. But you know what? I'm not. He's chosen not I to build. I which overbuilt means last time. He doesn't he's not gonna send an envoy out. Melissa, <laughs> what have you chosen? I kept running out of them last time. Oh wait. Are we going clockwise or counterclockwise? We we play um, should be Joe next, right? Yeah. Sorry. The the player pawn will pass. Yeah, yeah, to yes. Her. Eventually. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Sorry about that. Um, you do play in a clockwise order, but the first player marker passes counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So, I choose this one. Okay, so that one's going to go face up over there since you didn't select it. You're going to receive a green and a gray. There you go. These guy can go right there and he can becomes a new envoy. Yep, and now you can build if you want. Oh, I should get a coin or a dude, right? Uh, yep. Let's go for a coin. I want to build a gray building. All right. I want to build a, this one. Okay. Can I build it here? Build yep. Spot. You're good. Mm -hmm. um, so you get um, this. And what color worker would you like? Uh, the blue one. The blue one. Is that it? Mm hmm. Alright. Oh, you built a. Yes, yeah, so and when you build a gray, you don't get to send an envoy out. So, Melissa has given me uh, two brown guys again, just like last game. <laughs> But I'm going to choose a red and a blue worker. All last game. I just give him Because that's all I'd ever have. So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to build a blue building. Blue um, structure, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Right here. And that lets me send my envoy out. I'll send him... I'll send him right here. Mm. Because being next to the eagle counts as points. Yep. And Melissa. Alright. I'm going to choose this one, the little mm -hmm. bag. Yep. And mm. put it right here. Oh, same one you went for last time, isn't it? Mm hmm. I like that ability. That one's good because it means you can change your brown or white into coins and vice versa. I'm surprised you didn't choose the one that lets you upgrade your uh, bar. Well. Th I, th I just feel like this is probably more beneficial. Early right game, now. I don't think upgrading bar is a good thing. Okay, so you want to build? I do. I'm going to build this yellow. Uh, yellow. Here. And 
this little one. Now, Melissa and I have a special ability that lets us get points even if our guy is diagonal to the eagle. Mm -hmm. But as we discussed last time we played this game, since other people don't have that ability, it's better to block them. <laughs> sure. For now. For now. They all, all, everyone will probably ultimately get it. I right? didn't. Oh, oh, you yeah. never got it. You were the only one that didn't get it last time. I'm going here. Honestly, I never drew that thing. All right, so that's one round complete. 11 more of those, and we'll be done. Great. Super fast, quick little filler game. This goes to Melissa? Yep. Yep. We'll get two new cards. Two new cards. Two new cards. We have a dark tower. It's a and a lighthouse. Two ladies bathing. Yep. So the lighthouse and the lady ladies. Hmm, ladies bathing, eh? Pass me one of her ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey. Hey. Oscar Freer, thanks hey, Oscar. for that follow. Hey, Oscar. Oscar Freer, you. do you know what this game is? Because it's, it's a lot. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the new symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how to do that crazy thing. That's the new symbol. Use your middle finger here, and use your pointer finger up here. I don't know all that crazy shenanigans. There! <laughs> the east side. East side. <laughs> Just put them all west together side. like this. On the east bank? Melissa? I go first. You do. <gasps> You can, you can share with the audience what you have, since they're common knowledge. Can I use this? Or not. <laughs> What's your decisions you're making? What's going through your mind? I'm considering using this. I don't know if that would be very beneficial. So the first thing she has to do is choose one of those tiles and get whatever it says. Didn't you say there's something about if you use two white ones, you can... Do both. Use both, but, yep. but I'd have to spin this brown to turn them into a white mm -hmm. to use both. But then it would give me an additional gray for building later. You'd also get a brown. Yeah, so I'd you'd be basically like, get the brown back. I would just lose one white, really. I'm yes. This guy. Um, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I'm gonna lose this white and have this one turn. So then I get a brown and a gray. Yep. And a buck. And an upgrade. Yep. Get the buck. Rex wants to know if you have too much on your mind, Melissa. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, she does. And then the, the second condition on the on the gold card. Yeah. This one. Yeah. That. That means you have those left over at the round, or you click yes. those. Okay. You have to have them when it makes the check. And then okay. this this slides. So you have like two that. opportunities to collect points. Just slides one space. Would you collect it twice if you had this twice? Yes, okay, but so remember that each building can only be used once. Okay, and Correct. then... Yeah. So like if I had a three in a row, that yeah, wouldn't so do me any good. Okay. I'd need four in a row. Right. So this one still goes over here with the yep. others. And the other one still becomes an envoy. Hmm. All done? Um, you want to build? build? Is there a limit to, to these guys that you can have? Nope. I find in most stuff in field games there isn't a limit to how much you can have of anything. I'm gonna turn well, you should, well, this guy. He penalizes here. you if you take. Yeah. Usually, <laughs> if you have excess of something, it's it's not worth having. So I'm mm. gonna build a gray building. I'm gonna build a scroll like Joe did. All right. And I get this. And a worker of whatever color you want. And a you were just complaining about yellow workers, and look at her now. That's before this happened. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
All right. And this is a great building. Right? Well done. So goes here. Mostly. She's done. Yep. Uh, I have two things. I am going to turn this guy into a white. So I can do it the double action thing. You're doing exactly what Melissa did. I am. I was like, when she was doing it, I was like, oh, that looks very similar. Uh, so I get a white and a coin. I'm back just like I was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like my turn never happened. I'm doing this thing. And, and then the other one goes over there. This one goes over here. And then I'm going to build a gray building. Okay. It's going to be the scales. Scales. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Joe. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, that last ability to turn so this guy to gray. You get a gray dude. It's a one-time thing. I might want to do it. Joe gets a gray guy for his uh, hammer. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Dogs with their heads to the side, like, ah. oh, too much. Oh, too much. And they'll build a blue. Which is a fountain. The problem was there was not enough in my mind. I didn't know what to do. I'm going to send this guy out to a blue spot. Right? Yep. So. Well, uh, you must send him to the blue oh, area yeah. that's already been started. Mm -hmm. Right next to me. <gasps> Had to. He had to. He could have gone here. Well, that potentially can never add up to points. Eventually, that one where he is can be points, eventually, for him. If, it, if he ever gets that diagram. Oh, if he ever gets that upgrade. Yep. Which is, I mean, That's exactly what you were thinking, right? Yeah, exactly. I'll get points for myself. And we'll also, keep he limits your points. build, too. You know, from going that way, you know, you got to go around them. Remember, I tried to put it here. <laughs> yeah, just remember yeah. that. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> <That's> not what. <laughs> I mean, that's just sugar. That's all it is. But they're in you tiny could season your, I mean, not season, but you, yeah, you could season food with it. And they're I'm making a spaghetti. Can I have some of that candy to put <laughs> in? <laughs> um, Melissa sent me one of these worker, one of these citizen people. I'm kind of tempted to just use that. Yep. She was so kind to send me that. 10 grams of sugar. That's all it is. These are sugar cubes. That's like giving sugar cubes. The last time I played this game, I really like needed that. Maybe I think I'm salt right? I think I'm going to do that. Send this guy over here. No, I guess I had sugar cubes. And then I'm going to do a blue worker. So do a blue building. And send my guy here, which completes this area. And so when I complete an area, I get one of these things. So I will select a Tribune. All right. Pass the Pass guy. This. Get new cards out. New cards arrive. We have a tower. And we have a tower. city center tower and then a tower, like a watchtower. Now these are the uh, A side boards. This is the beginner game that we're playing here. So um, once you've played a few times, I recommend you flip to the other side, which mixes all of these symbols up and each person's board is different. First column. First column and the first row.
I just want <sighs> to keep both of my tiles and not have yeah, to pass any. Too. That good stuff. I'll give you his. Give, you good one. give me that good stuff. Rats. I got two tribunes here ready to use. believe you gave me that Melissa <laughs> gosh it's so good it's just two coins y'all <laughs> that's it just two coins I don't care about two coins they can go right over here oh, you're not throwing my coins oh my in the trash <laughs> I'm gonna do this guy and upgrade this thing no and then I'm gonna what have you use done? him and him together I don't know. Dink, dink, to make a <gasps> green guy. To build a green building. Green building, right here. And then I'll send my envoy out to the green area. Melissa. Well, the same thing I just clapped. Hey. Look at this bamboozlement. Good time to use both. Yeah. I know. She thought I really wanted two coins for something. Although I do have three dudes. Yeah, I mean, I thought you needed the money. So I go, so I'll I go last and then first. So the way it works. I am gonna get those two coins. Yes. I changed my mind. <gasps> get two turns in a row. I mean, the really? turn order is How dare you. of not a lot of significance, um, except for like competing over that. But last time, I didn't think it was very, we were very competitive for that. It yeah. was like, people were kind of just doing their own thing. I would like... If I may. You may not! What are you what are you doing, Melissa? Yeah. It's your turn? Thinking, thinking, Charles. Right. There's a lot of that in this game. Yes. Okay. First we'll slide this thing on my bob. Mm-hmm. Bloop, 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 bloop. That. That's first thing. Then I need to get a sure. worker. Sure. A horse of different color. I wonder if Slivers is still watching or if he's sleeping. He's snoozing. I have a question for him. <laughs> what? I'm just going to stick with the him. yellow guys. I know I complained about them in the beginning. Now I'm kind of... They're kind of growing on me. Well, now that you have a yellow crane revealed, yeah. And I'm going to build a yellow building. Mm. Right, give him back. Go for it. I put it here. A great place. Send your envoy. Now, Melissa is not held to the same restriction. She can build anywhere she wants in a yellow. She just True. has chosen that one. Is that correct? I could go somewhere else, but they're not going to grant. Well, I could go to the other place. Other two. Yeah, but well, then you I'm... could start this one up if you wanted to. But then I wouldn't be staying close to Kevin. How get? You're just as close here as you are there. That is true. 
And I would get, well, I get points either Why way. Why is she not? Uh, this that. guy right here lets you uh, ignore that rule. Uh, Actually, I will take that in consideration. I'm just as close either way, so I'm going to start here. Those two. Okay. Hmm. That way you don't leave it open for someone to finish the mm, building. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and get that benefit. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, I'm going to exchange this. I believe. For, yeah, for a white one. And I'm trading in two whites to do both. Which gets me two whites and two grays. I'm going to go ahead and build a building. Um, let's go with, I don't know, here's a gray. Let's go with, um, how oh, dare I indeed. Ah, I'm dropping sugars. What are all these last specialty places? I miss that Lux King. They're all different looking. I think you were the only one that got to them. Yeah, I did get to that one and I still don't remember what it is. <laughs> That one says, carry out an additional building action provided you have the applicable builder and or worker. Oh, the okay. Let's other see. two say, uh, just take a colonial tile from your street and use it immediately. Colonial tile, what is that? This is your colonia, take a tile from one of the streets. Oh, and just take one and whatever use whatever it says. Mm -hmm. Neat. Okay, okay, we're there, we're there, we're good. Um, I'll take scales. Move up on here. So you can either select two whites or two um, brown. Brown. I'll take two brown. Two assistants. Two assistants. Assistants. Take my turn. My assistants. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn in my two white guys to use stuff. Everybody has done this. But I get mm -hmm. one back, right? Yep. So I'll keep one. And you get to advance your track. Just one space. The action says one, that indicates once per turn. Because the one below it says two. I assume well, it once means per turn. I think it's like how many, huh? Well, it's once once per in your, once per turn in your building phase, you may exchange one. Oh. And it's not once per bag per oh, citizen. We've been anything. doing that wrong. What do you mean? I haven't. I've once been doing it once. You weren't in your building phase. Wasn't I? No, you guys both exchanged it to get a second white so that you could use the two whites to pick which tile you wanted. To pick both tiles. You are right about that. Because that was in the... That was in the choose a tile. It doesn't matter. Well, we'll just fix it going forward. Take one. They don't even mention the word building phase on here. <laughs> like... Once per turn in your building phase, it's in bold. You may exchange one coin, tribute, or assistant for another. Note, mm -hmm. an assistant you receive through such an exchange can, for instance, be turned by a craftsman into a builder in the same round. Yeah, I definitely took that before the towel. I'm sure we saw that on YouTube comments. <laughs> if you saw that before we did, put it in the comments down below. <laughs> or if they already did. A lot of people don't know, how to, don't know this game and don't know how to play this game. If you already put it in there, then give us a like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does that mean, Lumberjack Ronald? What's how do you do the double ones? A beard. You just turn in two? Yeah, so no, like if you spend two green guys, you could put two uh, double green there. And I can put two guys out when I do. Yep, if you have two, and you will, because you're going to put one of your envoys. Je Jesse still hasn't done his, but he needs to send one of them to an envoy and one of them over here. Huh? These guys need to be. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, he's referring to your beard. So, but why isn't anyone else who has a beard called Robert Because Jack? you didn't have a beard before. I don't do two greens. Do you could also do green gray if you prefer. And I'll do two greens. Okay. And then I'll move my guy over here, right? Yep. 
I mean, the one you gave me over the yep. big spin. Face up. So you're face up like that? Yep. Alright. And now I put these two up. Yep. And they must go to a green area. And since this green area has already started, you have to put them there. And you'll complete it, so it means you get a bonus. That's right. So now, since you completed this area, you get one of these bonuses. Either a white, a brown, a money, upgrade this, or two victory points. I'll take a money. One money. And I'm done. Great, so I'll give this to you. We'll flip some new cards out. New cards. Final cards. We got a bridge. To nowhere. And a chariot. Who's chariots? Everybody has so many people. I have one dude. <laughs> I think I've done something wrong. Was I supposed to collect the guy? A gray guy? Yeah, we gave him to you. Wait, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, there's too many options. Passing? Joe, you can go. It looked the wrong color on the front. It looked red for some reason. put that there, you get a great guy. <coughs> That's it. Oh, okay. Has anyone ever seen Stefan Feld in person? Not in person, but a visual. Seen pictures of him, yeah, when they were doing the, um, split of Jars this year, the pictures of all of them together. A bunch of pictures of him. He may be the tallest game designer. Do the gray. How tall is he? Red. Really tall. Six, seven. Sixteen feet tall. Sixteen feet tall. Sixteen. <laughs> so Let's that find out. That. Is he taller than Joe? That's the question. Joe's do. only five foot two, so. That's true. That's more like me. <laughs> Typed in, how tall is Stefan Fell in Google? And they said, who the heck is Stefan Fell? Not kidding. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. 
When you so, find the answer, it's going to be in like centimeters and meters and stuff. Well, someone asked on uh, BGG, he said um, he's a 10 foot tall beast man oh, who showers in vodka and feeds his baby shrimp scampi. Oh, that's, that's, that's an SNL reference. <laughs> that's the Bill, Bill, Bill Blasky. Blasky. Yeah. The Bill Blasky. He's a 10 foot tall beast man. <laughs> Who showers in vodka? Oh, that's screwed up. <laughs> um, he's actually six foot six. Joey, not nostalgia. Nope, not nostalgia, Joey. You look down on seven hell. <laughs> well, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I don't got a yellow. No, I look up to him by many a feet or an inch. No, like, but, um, yeah. So, uh, you must go into one of the yellow areas that Melissa has already uh, started. Why do y'all keep doing this to me? <laughs> well, get this get worker and you no longer have to do that. So easy. It's worth point to you to go there, so. Yeah. Um... You're done. Yes. I feel like I should choose this one. I'm gonna not choose the one Melissa gave me. I'm gonna take a worker of some color. Probably green. Green does not help me immediately. Maybe red. I'll take a red. And this upgrades this thing. And I'm gonna spin the red guy to build a red building. I'll put that here. And send my envoy out to red. Melissa. Hmm. I'm not choosing mine, but it goes here anyway. You I'm are correct. This one. So I get a blue and a white. Okay. Here. And then I would like this gray guy to build the, the potted uh, When I upgraded face. this, it's supposed to move to the next tree. So when you're when you're in a basic level, it just moves to the next square, but if you upgrade, you move to the next tree. What? Da, 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 da. Um, when you flip this thing over to the upgraded side, every time it moves up, it goes to the next tree. Uh, okay. But when it's on basic side, it just moves to the next box. Okay, so I'm gonna build that little, that the base thing. The great building okay, base. There you go. So Melissa's going up on the base track, she gets a buck. Buck for you. For me, and then during my building phase I'm gonna exchange this white for a brown. Mm-hmm. And what will you build? Alright, build that gray thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's your Did you send out a, um, oh no, you don't need to send them no, you felt the Yeah, great one. Alright, so Jesse, what did you select? I'm going to select... Hmm. First off, choose a tile, right? Okay. So, I'm going to do both. I give me 11, and it'll move me up. And two, two grays. Now I'm on my building phase. Now so you'll you send your, so exchange. you'll send the tiles where they belong. Yes. What is it? Now you could do that exchange. Berza, how's yeah. it going? Hey, Berza. Hello, Berza, Berza 77. Ah, as opposed to that. 76. 76. 
And because um, I'm building a gray tile, I'm going to build the bars as well. The there you go. So you will get a back, Melissa. Can you give this my dollar, white please? Guy. Do that. Um, are you sure you want to change yeah. change that for a white? Um, no, I'm not actually. I think that needs to become that needs to stay a brown, doesn't it? Makes sense. I would. Oh. Yeah, for the gold. Okay, that's fine. I mean, don't let us tell you what to do. No, you're right. I counted him and then put him up for exchange. <laughs> this is Forum Trejanum. Or Trajanum. Or Trajanum. No. This. Trajan. Who knows how to say it? We don't. <laughs> this is Devin Feld, uh, Berza. That's the designer. And Stronghold Games is the publisher. I would say a weighty Euro game. I'm actually not going to build that. I mean, it's the same amount of points if I do this. And this is long term. So. Same amount of points as what? Uh, this is only worth three points to me. This is worth three points to me. Uh, just putting this here because of this thing. I see. So this is long term. This is once. So I just go with that. Yep, looks like Melissa's the only one that's going to achieve that goal. All right, so that is the end of our first um, era. So we're going to start and we're going to go through this slowly so you guys can follow along at home. Um, we are going to first pay our citizens. So I have three different rows of citizens, so I owe three dollars, which I have right here. Melissa has two rows, so she'll pay two dollars. Jesse has two rows, which he owes two dollars. And oh, Joe just... Rows. Joe owns just... I thought one. it was actual citizens. It's no, $2. it's... Um, mm. And it also says it here, one coin per row. Okay, I never had that in the last game. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next step, we're gonna go to the cranes. So I have two uncovered cranes, green and blue. I have three buildings in those colors, so I get three points each, which is nine points. Melissa has a yellow uncovered and two yellow buildings at three points each. That's six points for blue. I'm not. Jesse didn't uncover any cranes, and Joe didn't either. Now, if you'll uncover them in the next round, they're only worth two points, and in the third round, they're only worth one point. Uh, the gray buildings, Colonia scoring. So I didn't build any gray buildings, so I get nothing. Melissa has one in that first row that's worth two points. Mm -hmm. That's because she has a citizen here, which makes it worth two points. And the second row is only worth one point. So she's got three total points, bringing her up to nine. Jesse has some stuff. What do I have? What are we doing right One, now? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Are we doing these things? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so six eight. and eight. He gets three points each for the two in the middle there, mm -hmm. and then he gets two for the bottom one, so that's right. a total of eight. Bring him right here. Joe has this gray building, which is worth one point. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the eagles. So I am I have a special ability that counts diagonal as well. So I have one, two, three um, points for eagles. On a duck, this is how we. Melissa has two. One, two. Jesse didn't build anything, and Joe has uh, one. I was like, he has so many people out here. Um, he doesn't have a special ability yet. Okay. I kept forgetting that I had to finish the places y'all had already started. Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty cool ability. Um, no one is built on the eagles yet. Those would be worth two points. Next, we're going to move on to the largest area of envoys. So I have three here. And, and mine says for three, I get three points. One, two, three. Melissa has just one. And that doesn't count for anything. Jesse hasn't built. Joe has two over here, and for him, that's worth two points. And now we're going to go to the Trajan task. So that first task that Trajan set us, only one person completed it, which is Melissa. Her head here is currently in the three area, so she gets three points for that. One, two, three. 
Hmm. Okay, and then the second task Trajan set us is having two assistants and a coin. I notice Melissa has it, so she's gonna get three more points. One, two, three. Jesse also completed it, so he gets three points. One, two, three. And Joe is very close, but did not complete it. So we can flip that one face down because we're not gonna need it anymore for the rest of the game. The rule book doesn't say to flip it down, but it just makes it come more convenient sure. so you're not staring at it. So things. what's the next one? I think that's having four different color structures. In a row? No, just Under on board, your board. Oh, okay. Four structures in different colors anywhere in the colonia. And then the other one is having a worker plus two triumphal columns. Which, has anyone built a conflict column? I don't think we've set, seen any columns yet, but it's this one. No, I should have. <laughs> I needed the... In hindsight. Yeah, they're worth the, the most points in the first thing. round. Oh, so now we put this here. Yeah. So, um, to begin the next cycle, we are going to pass the start player again to the right. We've built a little bit more of the column. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit taller now. And now this column building is only worth two points plus however many citizens you have. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna reveal two new street cards and we're gonna keep going. And that's it for this game. You know, you know everything. <laughs> easy, we easy have a peasy. And we have a tower. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That's the uh, lighthouse. The lighthouse. Oh, uh, anyone who had construction needs to flip them over. Right, I right. Mine. I just had the one. <sighs> oh, let me give you an update on the scores. Melissa is winning with uh, 17 points. I have 15. Uh, Jesse has 11. And Joe has 4. Quiet part. Where Indeed. people decide. That is not what I wanted. You can't always get what you want. That's for sure. The um the the third goal, do you have to have a colored thing in the corners, diagonal? Of the, the building, building, yeah. Do they have to all be different colors, or can they be all just... They just, they have, to just have to be colored. Okay. I didn't realize that. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm sitting over here so like... Hard. Well, I looked at you, you were doing it, and I was like, I gotta do that. Well, so, he's also preparing for that, so... Yeah. Wasn't the worst thing. I think I got the two mixed up. Because I thought, that's why, I thought that the corner one was coming next. I didn't look again. Take a white and a coin. Okay. So he'll go into your stack of envoys? Yes. Yep, yeah, because I've been using those. Um, Oh, Melissa, thanks. Welcome. Make tough decisions. And I just need to start getting towers, so let's build a tower. Um, yeah, tower. So that would give you five points for building that. Two points here, plus the number of citizens that he has. I need you to move me up, please. Just to make sure it wasn't rose. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. All right. What did he move up for? He built a column. One of these things. Mm -hmm. It counts this number of points plus how many people, how many citizens you have. Okay. And I can do an exchange at this point in time. And I think I will. Let's do a white. Okay. 
So. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know it's my turn. Yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> What part of Europe are you in, Burza? If you're still uh, here. I'm going to choose. Let's take guesses. I'm going to choose this. Burza. Mm. Another Finland. Mm, yeah, actually. That makes sense. Berlin. Mm. No, I'm going to say Finland, like Rex. Because I think they came in, like, they followed at the same time, okay? So it's kind of cheating, but yeah. <laughs> I'll put that there. So I'll flip this over. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do. So you flip that over. No, Sweden. Sweden. Pretty close, pretty close. Um, we do now discuss our thoughts after the game. Move to the next tree. We always ask each other what we thought of it. Uh, sometimes we go more in depth than other times, in. but for a game like this, we'll probably have a lot to say about it. We're a pretty big Stephen fan, uh, Stephen Feld fans here, so we. Um, we have a lot of opinions on the Duffenfeld games. Yeah. This is my uh, 23rd okay. overall played Feld um, games. So that's or me 24. now. This is my 20th Steffenfeld game that I've played. This is either 23rd or 24th. <laughs> I don't know which one this is. Probably 10th, 12th, I'll somewhere around there. This. Red. Well, we're only gray. missing three out of his entire collection no, of games. I and then I count the no. three we're missing plus the two I haven't played. So, mm. however many games minus five. That's how many I've played. Well, I need to build, so I'll build a red. Um, Well, now that I found out I don't have to have different colors in the corners, <laughs> I guess I'll just put this one here so I at least have one finished. Send him to red. He can go there. Mm -hmm. Alright, Alyssa. Alright, I'm gonna choose this one, the brown and any color. Well, welcome. Yes, um, we have um, Rex also, who's from Finland, and I think he has issues with our time zone as well because we are yes. in Central United States time zone. So um, we do have a YouTube that a lot of people, you know, can catch us live. Go see our YouTube stuff there. Yep, you can also check out the Twitch stream on uh, Video On Demand, VOD as they call it, which yeah. means just after the fact you can check it out, see what happened, if you're curious about how things ended. Okay. I wish they made that whole system easier. The VOD system? Yeah, because then they would have like a, they could compete with YouTube at that point. And now I feel... It's just so difficult to find things on there. <laughs> you have to go to their channel yeah. to find the thing. Yeah, yeah. There's no like general search, like, I want to watch board general games search. and show the board games. I'm gonna build. If only Twitch. If only. I'm gonna build a yellow building. Yeah, I don't think they're really trying to compete with YouTube in that way, though, no, and that may be why they don't make it easy. Well, they, they want they people want to watch live. To be live. Yeah. Yeah, our YouTube is um, YouTube.com/slash iHeartboardGames. Which I might have. There it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> I. It's. Uh, YouTube.com slash iHeartboardGames. Mm -hmm. That link will take you straight there, but um, yeah. you type it in, it's iHeartboardGames. True. Yeah, I'd love to that. So these don't have to be different. Like, this is yellow. I could put this yellow here for the two corners. That works. Um, that's right. Okay, so I'll put that there. And I put my little guy here. It completes that area. And... What reward would you like? Hmm. I think I'm going to slide this. Okay. Great. So, Jesse. That's it? Yep. Okay, choose a tile. Where did my tiles go? Oh, no, just, you were first, sorry. I was first. <laughs> so you'll pass that. <laughs> I was like, something happens. 
Where's the tile? Who took, who took the tile? No, where's that? And flip us some new cards. Yeah, oh, oh, it was, is. Oh, I was lying. Oh, okay. Here, Jeez. I'll take this thing. Everybody's confused. Well, everybody told me to go. Yeah, uh, Rex, we were talking. Uh, Burza's from Sweden, oh, so we were talking no. about time zones a little bit. This one lost his head. I hate when that happens. <laughs> We have a tower and we have a policy. I have a story there. about that after we're not on stream. It's a little too graphic for stream. Oh. Alright, so we have this one, the city center, and we have the Coliseum. Okay, so this, this thing, this one, and this one. Now I have a question. If I were to uncover these but not build the buildings, they do they still have to go to the gray at the end of the round or only That's when right. you build something? Nope, at the end of the round they gotta go oh. gray no matter what. Oh dear. Yeah, what time is it there, Rex, in Finland right now? I'm trying to figure out how far away, how far off it's from us you are. Uh, seven off. Seven hours. Seven hours. So it's like eleven twenty p.m. Could be eight hours. Though. I guess you guys might say twenty three twenty. I'm not sure. Are we allowed to look at the one you give us before we hit somebody else? No, okay. you're not. God, no. <laughs> right. 2320, yes. You're right, Jesse, 11 hours. Yay. I put his thing there. Couldn't quite reach. All right, um, Melissa, what you doing? Finland has zero zero twenty. Okay, so Sweden is seven hours. Finland is eight hours. I'm gonna use these two white fellows to mm -hmm. do both, and then I get a white, a green, and a brown. And an upgrade. Like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, my head is in the next area now. She's got her head in the clouds. Okay, so this one goes here. This one goes over here. All of these little dudes go over here. And then I'm gonna exchange during my building phase now this brown that I got for a coin. So that's I'd like around. a coin. Even farther into the future, exactly. Mm. Time travel. I like to spend this green guy to get a green building. I'm then gonna put here and put out one of my little dudes here. Tomorrow's lottery numbers. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? I think so. Did the, I didn't complete anything, so I didn't get a bonus. I built, I put the green thing out, yeah. And I did my exchange, so I'm good. Just gonna take this hammer, put her there. Put her there. I get a gray for that. Go. And I'm actually gonna spend a gray to build a <laughs> tower. I'm just running through the steps. Uh, column, please. I would love to build a gray, but I haven't gotten any grays. <laughs> like, no gray, like, and there's no way to exchange it on mine. Like, I don't That'll have a hammer. A... You can use two workers of any color and turn it into a gray. Six points, please. It's 
on the it's on this. I know, but like, alright. Okay, good job. I'd have to use both of these. Right, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use what about the browns? Can they change the to yellow green? and the white? If you look at the back of that sheet, it'll explain everything to you. I'm using yours okay. to click the yellow and the white. Mm -hmm. These these can't go gray. This is brown is two a, colors can go gray. That's what I it just has, said. Yeah, it, has, it can't be these brown dudes or the right. white dudes. It and has to be the color. Green and gray. The same color. They don't do the same. Let me get this. Uh, yes, they do. Oh, it to be two of the same color. Two of the same yeah. color. Yep. Well, that's a bunch of hot wash. You can yeah. use the brown one to turn the other worker into the same color as the first one. Well, she doesn't Too have that many people. You don't no, have to just, have an ability to do that. So oh, that's, oh, that's what the assistants do. But that's just too many people. I would have to spend this green brown one, so I put out a guy. to do this yep, thing to make green. that blue, to make this thing to make what green. Green. Uh, you know this I mean, this one, you must go in this one. But you could get next to an eagle here if you want. And then you also get points for that, so you get two, three, four, five points. Oh, I forgot I had this. Keep uh, mine. I'll put this in there specifically for slivers. An add theme command. <laughs> the saddest thing with anything is when you don't really know how great it is until you're finished, but you don't have the energy to play it again. Uh, well, what was the game? Yeah. And especially when they're long. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. Now, we've played games like three times Arch in a row. Architect. We just recently liked Architect, and we played it three times in a row. Yeah. So, I mean, as long as they're not this yeah. long. Well, that was not a short game. It's not a long game. It's this row. This one is like you've got too many options each turn. And so whereas other games you've got maybe three choices and you're like, this is the best choice right now. Whereas yeah. this one's like, there's the most efficient choice I can make right now <laughs> and it'll give me the most points and I can't find it. It's so I just did that and then you, you go, okay, I'm just waiting. You go exist. like, oh crap, I should have done that. <laughs> like, oh. Well, I keep looking at the goal and I'm like, well, I don't see that happening. But maybe I could get the bottom. Well, no, that's not going to happen because I don't have this. And if I do that, I can't do that. Like, Horses. Where am I going to go? Boaties. A boat. Well, a boat is mm. a name for sure. It's already done. And the horse. Um, Gee Willikers. This is not Gee good. Gee the Doom board game says 90 to 120 minutes. We had a six hour game, which ended at 3 a.m. and we knew what we were doing. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. I think the longest board game I've ever played to date is World of Warcraft, the board game. Seven and a half hours. Yeah, we were streaming too. Yeah, but still, even with that, I mean, it's probably about a six-hour play. Sure, no, it's no small feat. You played uh, Twilight Imperium, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Not even the third one? No. What's wrong with you? I played the Empires of the Boy, which is supposed to be kind of like. No. Four. Throw it. Thank you. Uh, the four X. Interesting choice. Experience, but shorter. It would have gone longer if no one had known anything. You haven't wanted to play it since. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Alright, I'm gonna pick this one so I can get a coin. Advance this thing to the next tree. Um. I'm gonna send my yellow worker to build. He's I'm gonna build. Board game. What is the? Uh, oh, what is this going in? It's like four of four tiles of color. 
Have all four colors. All four. Have a set of four colors. Okay. And as, for every set of four colors you have, you get that many points. Okay. Um, this goes into Rama the yellow. That's one. I have one, finally. Joe has one. <laughs> and I, since I only have seven I tiles. I have a one. I have none. I have a blue and a... I have a blue guy here. And I have some stuff in hand. Thanks for the tile. Yeah, I know. I figured you'd like that. Right. Uh, right. Melissa. Okay. So I put this one down. I have choosing to look this at my one. watch to figure out what's clockwise. Four. <laughs> You forget. Okay, now, um, why did I say four? four? No idea. I don't know. I was like, I looked at this at four. <laughs> four score and seven <laughs> years ago. Wait, has, she, has she not traded the thing yet? Or what are we doing? I, don't know. I, just, I was lost in my own game and then I didn't realize. Yeah, Kickstarter's a. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Kickstarter's a game in itself. I must have been thinking Waiting something. Game. Okay, this goes Oh, out what here. was the first game you ever backed on Kickstarter, Rex? Um, I just know. got a Kickstarter a couple days ago. Oh, it hasn't been unboxed yet. <laughs> Everdell, the game with the tree. With the tree. So, I did the tiley points. thingy. Now, I need to... I need to change this brown. No. Call Fireon deck building game. Cool. Oh, Volfireon. I could be pronouncing that incorrectly. It's a good chance. Okay. Um, so I'm in my building phase. Mm-hmm. Gonna exchange one of these browns for a white. Mm-hmm. That could be useful later. Then I'm gonna build this here. My first game was in 2014, February. It was a tasty minstrel game. It cost only five dollars to back. <laughs> it's called This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Two to Four of Us. Ah, uh, yes, the classic. <laughs> I'm Tile build land. You got in on that blue <laughs> building. <laughs> the one after that was Coop. Build a blue building. Reformation. It's gonna go here. And then put this right here. And Oh, I backed a really not great game that was produced locally. It's called Mississippi. Close enough. But it was this weird game where everybody gets a car, there's one trader at the table, it's called the Salem Curse or something like that. And the mechanism was the person who was the trader had to wink at somebody. And if they winked at somebody and someone else noticed them winking... You've got crafts. Is it? Same idea. Yeah, well... You have a secret symbol. Yeah. yeah. But if you see me wink at you, then you're a witch too. At that point. But if no one caught us, ah, it's silly. I don't, I don't care for that. <laughs> Did you My first that? game I ever backed, because the first thing I backed was not a game. Mine too, mine was a movie or something. Was Exploding Kittens. Oh, wow. Mine. Yeah. Mine was... I guess, are they in order? I have no idea what I'm looking at. You yet. scroll all the way down. Okay. Yeah, Exploding Kittens must have been, and then the second one was Bloomhaven, and the third was Psy. So, I'm pretty you like... You moved up! <laughs> <laughs> the po if it's popular, I backed it. <laughs> I believe so. So yeah, I've, she's been done. Yeah, I think. Right. Cash in these yeah. two. Um, my first two good, two Kickstarter was uh, recently Stockpile. Because I really liked when we played it. Speaking of Stockpile, he's stockpiling his tiles. Stock tile. Oh, I'm stockpiling stock tile. people at this point. <laughs> what is a people? I don't have people. I don't care about <laughs> what is people. A people. A people. I like these Blooding Kittens okay the first couple times I played it, but then it just got kind of like the same to me, so I gave it to Melissa so she could have it, because she likes games that meow. Yep. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Second what I backed was Tainted Grail, story-driven car game. Oh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Speaking of meowing, I backed the Isle of Catch. <laughs> yep. I'm building a vase. I went all in. Like, if I do a Kickstarter, that's the thing. I have to... 
have to really limit myself because if I'm gonna do a Kickstarter, I mean, so you I can want, choose a dollar or one of these rewards. Baddest package possible. Like I go um, all I'll in. Like I want every exclusive thing. I want every stretch goal. I want the whole nine yards. So I have to um, really pace myself. I don't use oh, my two guys. Keep in trouble. To keep mm, these, but you get two white ones back. So far, I've only ever back two. So I got a red and yellow. And they're big ones. They're big games. That's the biggest one you're back. So you can send them. Well, Isle of Cats. That's the biggest. Fire. Stockpile wasn't as much as Isle of Cats, but it's still I went in for everything. And then I'm gonna build. And it's because I like the base game that much. And when we played with the expansion, oh, I was like, oh, I like this. So. I Western legend might be my biggest. What do you mean by biggest? Prices. Well, oh, how much you personally spent. Yeah. What about um, Rising Sun? That came with a lot. Or Blood Rage. Oh, right, Rising Sun. That was it. <laughs> Rising Sun came with a lot, but we got everything. Blood well, Rage, too. Blood Rage, I was late pledge, so it's not on here. If I consider how much money I ultimately spent on Scythe, Scythe is probably the right. worst. But I didn't pay all that at the top. Well, all that yeah. stuff came later. Well then, and I paid for, um... Like, hey, Arflick, how's it going? Arflick! Hey, Arflick! Jonathan. Arflick was saying he wanted to come and sing with us last night. I don't know why you just don't, you know, come on it's down the road, come hang out with us. I mean, it's 45 minutes. <laughs> it's not that no, bad. No, short drive. <laughs> It's like an hour, unless you drop the back way. <laughs> so you get to send one of your guys out to a yellow zone. You have some choices. Uh, oh, we here, right? we saw no, that. you can go here as well. <coughs> oh, that is yes, so um, rude. How dare you go I there? I believe that go, go, go. was go go. You're go. blocking me. Well, did you not Let's notice go. my guys would have go, been go, go, coming go, around um, this way, or maybe? Good. Oh. Or when my guys would have been going this way, maybe? Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's see, somebody I literally was not paying any attention to that. And you didn't say anything. Why did I support it together? It's on my Discord. You right could have, I would have easily chosen somewhere else. What are y'all fighting about? Figure it out. Um, he thinks he's walking and I'm like, you've already cut me off. Yeah, so many times. No, I think he's blocking me. Yeah, 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 he's blocking me. So you get a dollar. Two two. Very much rocking it. Yeah. Yes, it's two two four two. New cards, please. New cards. Ah uh, no, go go. He he was. I mean, that was just ladies. Like and absolutely building. amazing last night. This the this one. Yes. The Pantheon. Pantheon. The Chimera is the Parthenon or the Pantheon? Oh, I don't know. The Pantheon's one, it's got a, it's the dome one, it's the Pantheon, I think. Well, that's junk, I don't want that. It's all junk. What can the ladies get me? Come on, ladies. Hey, ladies. Your name on the bow, bow, bow. I feel like the, I, I mentioned this the other night, but like that game when you go to the fair and they have all the ducks and you pick one up and it has a number on the bottom and that it's gives a prize. A winner. Not a winner. That's what the game I feel like I'm playing when I do this. Because you have no way of knowing what's anywhere. I wish they were face up. Yeah. You're still relegated to the rows and the columns and you sure. still have all the same restrictions, but you would, you would it wouldn't be just yeah. luck based because well, you should, there's start something I'm never gonna should, get. Maybe at the start of it you get to turn over Certain ones. The memory game. <laughs> like one, no, you know, not remember, but you would just get to choose one or two. Oh, look and at then all those go, hearts break then you would have more choices. I don't know. That might probably complicate things. It looks like a little poodle ho no holding idea. the heart. Look at all those hearts breaks has. And one looks like a poodle. Is it a poodle? Oh, a monkey. Oh, a monkey. <laughs> it looked like a, a French poodle with the little, you know, mm. far away with that the does. gray and black. Anybody like my new shirt that I just got? Oh, yeah. Yes. Board games. Education is important, but board games are most importanter. <laughs> I just have the regular shirt on today. Actually, I think I stole this one. This one's 
I think it might be yours. You're wearing mine? I think so. I don't know. We both have some red shirts. Because <laughs> I ordered some red ones by mistake. Or, you know. We have all different kinds. Yeah, Jesse, the shirt. designer, yeah, can design is. all different kinds of shirts. And he right. does. There's over 150 designs now. So if you're interested in some, there's ones all in this theme as well. All different kinds of things. Such and such is important, but board games are more. Check them out. I picked this one because I used to be a teacher. So, and I am a rules teacher, so. And he chose board games over education. <laughs> well, so, you know how I'm it finished. goes. <laughs> hey, lady, could you give me that pow right now? Not sure which one I want. Otherwise, pick. I'm gonna go pow. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Anyway, I didn't see it, Melissa. Yes, you yeah. did. You saw all of it. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Junk and junk. All right. Regular Joe, what right. say you? I'm going to turn in one of my guys to do keep up. Oh, I see. Because you're getting one, one back. Get one back so. Was it a red and a blue and a gray? Sorry. Is there any way to build two grays like there is two colors at one time? Nope. That stinks. Fuzzy Logic, how are you doing hey, today? Fuzzy Logic. Hello, Fuzzy. Some people said they get scared whenever I like proclaim their their name. And I'll build a it's yellow scared. one. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, why are you like yelling out my name? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I'm like, well, we're just trying to like say, say hi. hi. Yeah, you said <laughs> hi, so I'll say hi. <laughs> now, if they're not saying hi, that's another thing. Yeah, like, that's, if they choose yeah, to it's lurk always it's someone fine. who says hi. I never, we don't right. ever call out the names of lurkers. Oh, why are you so scary? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess it would be the same thing, like, Don't try to scare me. well, there's sometimes I know from, like, a person from other streamers, it, you want to talk, but then sometimes you want to stay in awe, so, like, you don't say anything, you just kind of lurk around. As soon as you say something, mm -hmm. everybody's like, hello, 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 like, hello. <laughs> it's just, like, it's just so much, but. Fuzzy logic. But yeah, I figure, I mean, if they're saying something in the job, like, hello, I'm like announcing that I'm here, I'm saying yeah. hello, then it's probably okay to announce them. Hello. Oh, well, I guess I have to pick this junk. The garbage. And sometimes, like, there's, there's one or two people who are always, they always lurk, but, like, they... One of them said something like, I'm going to chat so that the computer acknowledges my view. Because something about, like, if you don't at least say something that in the chat, sense. then it sense. won't acknowledge. Like, it won't acknowledge your lurk. And so they'll put exclamation point lurk just to let me know, like, hey, I'm here, but I'm not going to talk. And there's two or three people I know that they do that a lot. And I'll just, like, hey, thank you for the lurk. You know, I appreciate it. So I know some people will do that. Um, the same thing with like the host and radio. I don't want sense. any of this what? junk. Why this game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Why, Stefan Feld? What have he, you he done to like, us? He was like, I'm gonna make the Feldest, Feldest, Feldest game that's ever failed. Yes, that's exactly what he did. I want you to think about everything. I want you to think of the meaning of life as you play yeah. this game. Examine your mere existence. I'm doing things very differently than last time. <laughs> Melissa? All right. Oh, crap. What's wrong now? Nothing, I'm stupid. I forgot, <laughs> to, I forgot to build the, the other tower. 
Uh, he said he built the yellow thing. I was like, because I was going to build the, the tower and the green thing, but then I was like, I don't have a tower. Come on, man. Well, I have no chance to build two towers, so I'm not going to get that. So I've got to go for the you red. Need a guitar thing. first. The red. Just get it. I mean, even the cheapest one. I bought one for forty bucks. That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean. Rogue brand from like uh, what was that? That was like that was, well, Black Friday sale. Yeah, Black Friday. Friday. Well, I've even found them as cheap, cheap on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. People. True. Yeah. You can always find used ones. Yeah. It's just like yeah. People, people go buy one. And they want to learn and they give up. Give up. <laughs> and then half price. Start small, buy a ukulele. Yeah. I've I've bought many of ukulele. Melissa? I don't know. I keep videos staring videos at them like it's going to change. You keep chatting is what you keep doing. I keep looking. And they review the cheap guitar that they bought on like Amazon or eBay or something like that. And they provide the link. So if it's actually a good one. You know what? I want to buy it and then not use it. I'm going to spin these two oh, well, whites I mean, to that's do both. More of a, uh, and so that gives me a white, a brown, a yellow, and a green. You're it's definitely not going to want to do it if it's not in your house. Though. I'm very motivated by money. If I spend money on something, I want to use it and do it. So that's easy for me. If I buy, if I purchase something, I have to use it. I just can't just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm too lazy to not use it now that it's here. No, I spent money on that. I am using it. You better believe it. That's why I don't have a big shelf of shame. As soon I as I spend money to get games in my house, that game's hit the table. But I'm not the one that usually fills up that shelf of shame. <laughs> She's really ashamed. Look at all of those people. I'm spinning this red one to build a red building. Okay. You're not doing one of those double buildings? Oh. Um, oh, wait, I, I could do that. Not gonna, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but... I mean, I could put it here. That's my only place. But it's only going to fill one. Uh, so we were talking about this earlier. I'm curious what the chat and everyone at the table thinks. We've in this in this chat we've talked about um, cake versus pie before, but we've never talked about this: pancakes or waffles. What no. do you choose? Melissa's not allowed to answer until she finishes her turn. Oh no! How about um, I finish quick? I'm ready. Okay, three. what say you? Should we go three, two, one? No, I'm just gonna build the one oh, bird thing. Arflake agrees with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like this has been a. Pancakes. You go for pancakes. A, I mean, it's not. It's not like. But add a third contender, crepes. Well, a crepe is just a thin pancake, but. Yeah. But Burza chooses pancakes. I choose waffles, but I will eat a pancake or a crepe any day. I really don't want to choose. They're like my if kids. If I chose pancake or crepe, I would go crepe. Pancake. I had crepes last night. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, pancakes. I'm like, ooh, delicious, and then I'm sick of them. I go waffles. Why is that? What's the difference? I told you, you have to finish your turn first. I just say yum, and then take a bite. I'm and putting I'm full. this out. Oh. And I don't want any more. I'm sick of them. Pancakes remind me of growing up, and that was like, that was like a good breakfast that morning yeah. when we got pancakes. Canadian pancakes. Pancakes, but yeah, crepe is what I think of as a pancake, fuzzy logic. Oh. Sense. Well, think of a. I go pancake. Really fat Canadian crepe. pancake. There's so many ways to make it. Exactly, a crepe. Looks like uh, Arflick and I are Ryan Solo on this one. Oh wait, you said waffles. I said waffles. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Normally uh, waffles, waffles, waffles aren't like. I, You're I, done. I, yes, I'm done. Okay, Jesse. Normally like waffles. Flour. Waffles aren't like. Oh. I just wish, like, for any of them, pancake or waffle. I can only eat maybe like one. Like I wish I could have. That's just that's half. just a commitment problem. Just, it's like, well, it's like I wish I could just like have half the waffle, yeah. not the full thing. Like we went, um, yep. we went to this place. We went to Spot of Tea, the one place in Alabama, mm -hmm. and they called them waffle sticks, but really it was just half a waffle. I'm like, this is perfect. I just want half the waffle. I never finish. What is a flapjack? A flapjack is just a pan a pancake. It's just a. Um, it's, yeah. it's just a euphemism for a pancake, that's it. I, like I remember growing up with, like, you go to the restaurant and they would be like, the pancakes were like that big. And they would give you like maybe two. I remember they weren't enough. But now you go and it's like this big. Yeah, it's they like, give oh you like God, two or three much. of them now. And Here in the big. South, when you order a pancake, it comes like as big yeah, as your yeah, head. Yeah, it's like I also love a sweet potato pancake. Building a double building. See, I always liked hotcakes growing up. We had so many McDonald's hotcakes. Like, that's all I'd want to eat. I can't forget that double building. 
I had a plan, and that was not my plan. <laughs> you you have lots of places you can build it. Yeah, but that wasn't my plan. Plan was the blue. <laughs> it matters. It matters. Move me up on the please. scroll, please. And I will take a um, that one, and let's go. Fuzzy logic. You live in the United States. Let's go green. For some reason, waffles is not that device. I think diverse. Oh, diverse, but it's delicious still. Now that is one thing I've noticed that, that you can do more with pancakes as far as like flavors than with waffles. Mm -hmm. So you doing putting together an army over there? With Both of them are. Oh, you too. So yeah, I no, have no, to no. go here, huh? Looks like for blue. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could go there. Right. Oh, um. I wanted, to, yeah, do, a little bit I wanted to do something. All right, we're my, done. Right, we're my done. Building phase. Wasn't there I supposed to do something? Wait, did we need money for this? Melissa, it was 86 years that was your turn, and you still didn't do everything you wanted to do. I don't think I needed to switch anything. You I mean, came ish, but you are South African. Okay. I am cool. exchanging this guy for a, a coin. What, what exchange did you want to make? That's because it's usually better to have the two white at the beginning of turn. I think I would have done this. Our thin pancakes, more like crepes, are more food. Yes, and that's, waffles that's are more like dessert or a sweet dish. So okay. Burza is in Sweden. Fuzzy Logic is like UK. Let's introduce a new contender, French toast. Ooh, I wonder what French other places toast. call what we call <laughs> French toast. See, well, I, like okay, the idea, I like the idea that <laughs> it's eggs. Eggs yes. and bread. Well, like, the Cajuns call it, I think, lost bread or something like that. Lost bread. Yeah, because in I French... I lost bread. In French, <laughs> it's called, it. in French, it's called pain perdu, which is lost bread. Oh, okay. Because it's the old bread that yeah. got stale, and you turn it into... Um, oh, French toast. lovely. Where bread, bread pudding comes from. <laughs> oh, French, French toast. People will just call it toast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so first the thing. thing is, so the, the thin, the pink are more food and the waffles are more like dessert. Yeah, All right, we're doing that. scoring. We're doing paying for your people. And yep. Two, two stews, bucks. So two bucks. Well, I don't have enough for my people. <gasps> I only paid two dollars for three people. So that means I'm going to flip one of them face down yep. and become in a, ineffective. But uh, it doesn't flip this back over, so it doesn't really hurt. Oh, your doggo is hanging at your feet. How cute. Okay, uncovered cranes. I have one uncovered crane, so I'm gonna get six points. Hmm. 21. Hmm. Melissa, I, I didn't, didn't uncover, uncover any. Jesse? Mm, I did uncover, but I didn't build anything. Okay, so you'll flip that. I have one. Great, so you're getting six points as well. So yeah. 15 points, two for each. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the gray buildings. I have one whole gray building, which is worth one point. So, one point. I have one, two, three. Three points for blue. One, two, three. I have 21 points. They're all so different. 12. Yeah, they're all different. Oh, they are all different. And then uh, nine. 21 points Ooh. plus 22 points is 43 points. I see so much strategy this game. It's different. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up. Joe. Yeah. I have three. Yep, so this one's worth one point. This one's worth two points, and this one's worth one point. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, let's go on to eagles. So I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six points. 28. Melissa is getting one, two, three, four, five, six points. 26. Jesse is getting zero. And Joe is getting one, two, three, it looks like. Mm -hmm. One, two, three points. Um, next is your <laughs> largest connected area. So I have five of them here. So that gives me um, four points. One, two, three, four. Melissa has four here, which gives her four points. 
One, two, three, four. Jesse just has one, which does nothing. And you have uh, two. two, which grants you two points. One, two. And last is your Trajan tasks. So for every set of all four colors you have, I have one full set, so I'm gonna get five points. Seven. I do as well. Red, blue, green, yellows. Great, so you're gonna get five points. Thirty-five. Jesse doesn't have that. Nope, I have one. Okay, you get um, three points. And then the other thing is having two towers and a color a colored worker. So I have no towers. I have no towers. Jesse yeah, has two, two towers, towers and a worker, so he gets um, three points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I only have one tower. Okay. So that is the end of the second era. So an update on the point situation. Jesse has 46 points. Uh, I have 37, Melissa has 35, and Joe has 27. So now we're ready for the last and final round. The tower building now only grants you one point plus your citizens. What's the secondary goal? Um, to have com two completed construction areas and two workers of different colors. So if you manage to flip on this turn, they will be finished by that point. Yeah, because that's the last thing to check. Yeah. So we have the Colosseum, and we have that building. The Pantheon. Yes. I'm doing this. That's for sure. This is just a joke now. <laughs> so if I only have one thing to flip, where does, hmm? does it, do I keep it or do I pass it? I only have one thing to pick up. You can spend a white guy to make the other one wild, and then you'll have two. But if I don't? If you refuse to do that, then Melissa is going to get to choose whichever one of these she wants oh. to receive from you. That's not bad. Instead of her being relegated to what you gave her, she gets a choice of anything, basically. Well, the thing is, this isn't... That's just as good as putting this. Um, hmm. Well... Now here's the thing, do I get to know if he's doing that before I choose what to send to you? Do I get to know if I'm choosing from there or not? Since I can see all those. It's simultaneous. I just wait. <laughs> Just wait till after he decides before you send me mine. True. Over here. Ah, I can't look at that. Oh. I'm, okay. <laughs> um. My doggo is looking at me. Why am I still awake? <laughs> Not successful. What did I miss? Uh, Jesse is winning. Look at all the color. Yeah, that's There's not gonna so last. Much color. By about twenty points. I don't have longevity. No, and he ten. will he will make all those points again. Well, uh, compared to Joe. Yeah, but I think you're all gonna make way more points than that. Oh, okay, the whole Because y'all are moving up this chart failure. like you're supposed to, and I'm not. It is okay. Did you at least right. dream of nachos? Yeah, I've, got I've it. only moved to the chart twice. I might keep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Huh. I, I moved it once and flipped Joe. it. Yeah. Creep the wolf. How's it going? My nap was a failure. Um. I need this, but I also want to keep my white person. So you get to decide what you want to do. How about that? Ooh, that's nice. All right. So the special rule on that is, um, whichever one you pick oh, after yeah. you're done, that tile's gonna go out of the game. It's not gonna go back in here again. It's gonna go out of the game. Oh, okay. So you can't just keep 
that same one over and over again. I know which one I needed. And I got two white people to use both, so I'm good. It's way too hot here too, Creep the Wolf. Oh. I agree. Okay. What did I miss? I'm getting ready to pass one of these to you. I'm like, you're right. You're right. I already did that. That's what I'm saying about this oh, game. I'm you're like saying about some of those things, and you're like, oh yeah, I gotta do. Oh wait, I already did that. I'm like, crap. I need a brown and a uh, gray. Ah, in Finland, the heat wave is finally gone. Oh At yeah, I heard. For a while. Europe was having like the worst heat wave they've ever had in recorded history. Oh wow. Hashtag global warming. Mm. Well, it's late, midnight, so good luck in the final era. Catch you later. All right, Burza, thanks. Bye, right, Burza. Thanks for being here. You can always hit that heart button to follow if you want to. Oh. Yeah, follow already. Hmm. Doesn't show. Does it? Well, wouldn't it have like a thing yeah, next following to following since uh, oh. eight days ago? Okay, sorry. Never mind then. <laughs> I thought you had a little thing next to your name when you follow. No. Those Creep the wolf, it's 107 where you are. In a brick house, broken AC, wow. too many people. Where is that? Is that must be in Arizona or something. Oh gosh. Tomorrow will be the highest 71. I want to live there. Uh, that would, 71 sounds nice. It can be winter here and we can have 71. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get in my car in the afternoons in wintertime and put on the air conditioning. I've done that. Air conditioning in December. In the mm. car. Like, what is wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna build a, this thing. Tower and green. Yeah. Do we have to pay again at the end of the room? Yep. If you want these people to activate for your multipliers. So that'll be one for the tower plus four. That's five points for me. Five more points here, 51. Um, and I put out my guy on the green. Green is occupied, but I will be finishing it. So let's grab, I mean, I'm not, this is not going well. So it's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the two points. That's exactly what I thought you would do. <laughs> Creep the wolf rolled a nine. Oh, all right, my turn? Yes. I don't know what that means. I am going to get a green and a yellow. Green and yellow, green and yellow. I do like how colorful the workers are in this game. Um, actually, it's, it's pretty colorful for, uh, for Feld. I put a uh, command in there just for you, Slivers. I forgot to tell you about two months ago. It's exclamation point, add theme. <laughs> Slivers, add the theme. And I'll build a yellow. What other things that I may have forgotten over time. I need to add more commands. Over here, right? Yes. Maybe I could use that streamer song list as like a board game request list. You can put it on the one. And I'm done. Take this one yellow. Well, pretty much you would just put in your entire board game collection, just like you would put in songs, and you just put instead of artist, uh, the the designer. But there's a lot of work in that. Yeah. That's the problem. And then they just be able to exclamation point SR and then a board game. I could export it and import it, then I'll do it. It's it's a lot of you. I'm not to going to type at all. Yeah. I've I can automate it. No. I have typed, deleted, and retyped over three hundred songs in Telus and it takes a while. Don't want to do that. I'll do a no. red. Thank you. It's a way for me to kind of keep up with the songs I do and don't do on a regular basis, so it's 
Gonna get that big bonus at the end. No. Better get that lead. I'm not. <laughs> gonna be a big. I will get bonus. seven whole points. What? Then uh, wait from this. Mm -hmm. You had a huge. Wait, I thought that was the thing that. Oh no, you got to the uh, seven. I got all the way. I got this far time. all the way across this. I got this all the way maxed out last time. You had something that. Just this time, I only am gonna get seven points, points, even if I had ten of those. I got like. Oh, you don't see yourself moving. I got. It, it, there's no way for me to advance it. Unless you get lucky and draw a bunch, I guess. I haven't drawn any of the whole game. Yeah, because last time you were drawing like crazy. Melissa. <laughs> time for right. sleep, Rex. Alrighty. Night, Bye. 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 See you next Bye. time. Bye. Thank you for being Bye. here. All right, I'm spinning both these white. Hashtag. Here. Exclamation point taco. I don't think we have a command for that, but we need to. I'm using yeah, we need both to. of these. Great. The coin. Explain to me why you moved it. Oh, you have. Oh. She did twice, yeah. Well. Because I used two, two white guys to do both, and yep. then I get a coin and a white guy back. Yep. This one is out of the game completely, so I'm going to put it up here, turn it over, and this one goes down here. And then I'm going to build a gray and green building. Gray and green buildings. So I'm going to put it here. Like, oh, wait, can I turn it over like this? It can go any direction? Sure. Okay, so I got that, so I'll just put the gray. And the green, and I get to put one of my thingies in the green area, so right here. Hmm. So she might get some big points if she keeps building that thing. She's yeah, I mean, she's got right seven now. dudes right now. Or seven points. For now. Yeah, I mean, we're on the last round here. She's only got three more turns. I don't know how it would happen. All right, so pass first player. Already right, did. Oh. Here we go, new cards. We've got Oh. An wait, arch. Wait a second, Yos. Wait a second. I was supposed to turn my building face, switch out, and do a switch of Rooney. I want this white. No, okay. And next up, we have another arch. Did you get your points for that? No. Oh, I did not. Oh, I should got three points because I have two three here and blue. the other one. One, two, three. Thank you. Double arch. Double arch. So, do you know what that arch. means? What? Special? No. It just okay. means just take two things from the arch. arch. Yeah. That is like the best outcome for me ever. I only I have one there. That is the worst so. outcome for me. I know because I have, I have like none th there. I have three here. Oh. So, so that is even worse for you. Um, so. You can use the white dude once again mm -hmm. to make one or both of them something else. What it does is not is not listed on there. Oh, it does. It says make a wild or something. So oh, that's it all it does for the. That's all the white thing. So does. what if I don't do that? What if, if you don't do I had none. If you don't do that, uh -huh. then what will happen is you will only have one tile to choose from, which is the one he passes you. Sure. I'm gonna make sure of that. Yeah, if you take one or none, then um, if you're not willing or able, you take the you take one tile that you keep or no tile. As you don't pass the tile, the neighboring player chooses. Um, wow. And the only tile you'll get is the one that you receive from your neighbor. And you're sure that one of these will make both wild? No, one will make one wild. The other oh. will make the other wild. Well then, I guess I gotta do it. You don't gotta do it. You could just be relegated to what he gives you. No, I gotta do it. <laughs> well, I have no choice. I don't have any white dudes, so I have this one thing, and that's it. This. You're not receiving one from me, Joe. You're gonna get to pick whichever one of those you want. Do I get to pick really? one from from over here? He's going to tell you that. Um, hmm. No. Okay. All right, so I got to pick either this one. This 
What did you just do? It's been a white dude. Picked up a different one. You picked up that token? Mm -hmm. And then you gave it to her? Mm -hmm. I don't think you get to do that. Oh, I have to keep it. Yeah. You're not passing anything. Oh, so if I have to spend another white guy to stop her from uh, getting something. If you don't want her to be able to pick from this, then you have to spend a white dude. Thank you, Heartboard Games, for being such amazing people. I have been having bad times, but I enjoy your games and your company. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Cool. Sorry glad things glad are not going well with the air conditioning and everything. Yeah, enjoyed right. joined the games and company. We're glad we could help in that little, little way. Mm-hmm. As we play the heaviest Euro of the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep it. She gets her pick of the litter. Whatever she picks goes out of the game, just like this one did. The one she picked last time, it's gone. She can never pick it again. What's wrong, Joe? Well, I gotta choose one of these and I have to get one of these too, so now it's making my, too many more choices. <laughs> well, first just decide which one of those you want to give up. That's why I'm having trouble with that. Right, she can pick what she wants, that's fine. Woohoo, I'm picking this one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, like, you saw which one she picked? <laughs> oh, the move up, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't know well, what's under here works. either. And I'm usually with these guys. <laughs> yep. I'm going up that track. Chicka, 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 chicka. That was my biggest thing last night. I didn't go up that track. I was like, going up that track. I think you're going to pull chicka, out chicka, second chicka, place chicka, this chicka. time. Possibly. I hope. I don't know. I'm doing better than I did last night. Who's going to get first? Not me. No. I have way too many. I, you're so sweet and you cute. You have way too many gray buildings. There are too many gray buildings. I'm not going to have that this time. I'm, I'm like only getting like, like plus 20. I'm not getting plus 20 from anything. I'm getting five okay. points. <laughs> uh, last time you had a hundred and like I think you're gonna have I think you're gonna have 30 points more than me by the end of the game. Okay. Well, good. My turn. <laughs> Are we all ready to start? Yes. Oh, you gotcha. All right, moving up. Using these two white dudes here. Mm -hmm. Use them both. Get a up twice. colored one. Choo, 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 choo. Choo, 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 choo. And I get a coin, which is very helpful for them. And then I'm just going to let my guys go hungry. Color. I don't have buildings in those rows anyway, so what do I care? In which rows? Oh, oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why should you care? It only counts if the great buildings, right? The only thing you can't do is go to the next street, which you wouldn't be able to do right now anyway. So, the ability. Jumping trees or whatever. Oh, right, but it's at this point, factor. the tree, it's, not, it's a six of the one, so. Yep. That guy doesn't deserve it. How many of these coin. cards are in the deck? I think there's two of each. Yeah, these are just random six places, right? Interesting. Yeah, because there's 12 of these and there's 24 cards, so... Okay. The chances of you getting that same one together is pretty slim. Building a green... But, uh, it's happened, and it happened, I think, to us once yet on Friday, too. This will go here. Ah, I finished a spot. Rats. That's what I was going to do. Um, so now I get a bonus. Which can include moving your thing up. I'm not saying should, but if you're good. Oh, she's yeah. thinking about it. What's that third spot in the vase? Take the guy and put him where? Out there. Oh, out there. Just, okay. It'd be I'll worth two points two to you points to do that. Two points if I moved it up. Because I would be at an 8 right now, currently, possibly mm -hmm. 9, so it could move up to either 12 or 13. That could be very beneficial. I'm going to slide this. I like that suggestion. Done, Melissa? Done. Alright, Jesse. Oh, wait. Uh, do 
Uh, Sorry, you said done. I, yeah, it's I was too late. Wa- well, I was wondering, do I want to switch? <laughs> See, this is the thing. Right now, I have enough money to pay for the two guys. Yep. And they are giving you bonuses and to they those are me buildings. Two points for these two things. Yep. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep the points. I'm not going to switch it. I'm good. Great. All right. So first off, let's change this. Wait. Um. Oh wait, I gotta do my stuff first. I mean, I'm not doing it twice, so I was already doing things. Um, I'm taking the um, yellow and gray. Okay. Yellow and gray. Mm. Building the yellow and gray thing. Mm. This will go here, which moves me up there. And I get to put. First, I should put my other guy out. Oh, wait, this guy's gotta go out. I'm going to finish the yellow and just take the two points. And then i got to put a guy out to the board, huh? Place one of your envoys on any color space in the forum, irrespective of the color placement rule, but not on eagles. Okay, so we do have two more turns. Okay, cool. Two more turns. Put him here. Collect another two points. One, two. And, um... I'm forgetting something. I don't think I am. Cool. I guess I'm done. The yellow out two points. The yellow out two points. Okay. I'm gonna get a white guy coin. One more time. Tell me that spot at the end of the boss. I should forget that. Pick up any any one of your dudes and just do what it says. Hmm. Crazy for all those great buildings you've built, you're not very far on any of the tracks, except for the boss. I mean, you're not even at the top of that for all the great buildings you have. He doesn't I guess have it's a lot of me, I mean. Nine. Three of them are the um, pillar. Yeah. So six or five, yeah, like one, two. So I'm going to use two three, red. Four, five. Yeah, six, five. Oh, wait, wait a second. Sorry. Would it, the gray bill just count and give you a point at the end? But then it multiplies by the things over here. If it's in that row. It has to be different gray buildings in that row, yeah. And it also moves you up one of the tracks, or it just gives you immediate points. to build something. We have two more turns left, you said? We have... Mm-hmm. Two more yeah, turns, that sounds yeah. right. Well, I could do like a double building. What's the last four cards? 
Uh, there's not I don't any know. way to figure it out. <laughs> huh? There's not really any way to I figure guess it you, out. You can't the cards. Yeah. Well, if you look through those cards, yeah, you could probably fit, you could figure it out then. Probably make a pretty The wolf good has guess. only come out once. Right? That's true. The wolf has only come out once. Coliseum's come out twice. The, the what about the black boat? That was yeah, black boat's barely come out. Yeah. That's probably black boat, wolf. I mean, there's two more. The, the, the lighthouse came this, out twice. This the one, soldier guy. This little queen looking piece hasn't come yeah, out. Yeah, twice. Oh, that's mm-hmm. what we the, the first top left. Oh, the city center. Yeah. I think the soldier guy, the black, the black soldier guy, the black boat, the white wolf, and I think the lighthouse. No, or the watchtower. One of those. Either way, I'm fixing to have some that day. I think day. the lighthouse is coming up twice. Okay. Because I have no white guys to, to do a wild, and I have like maybe one in some of these options. So we'll see. So that's what I gotta take. I'm gonna take this one over here for the soldiers. Is that this? Is this and actually when you put a new guy in this row it activates the one that got flipped over so that gives me a buck or a white guy since I don't care about these people maybe I will care about him I'll take it like I mean I'll call it. and then um, I'm gonna do a building. I'm gonna trade this guy for a red dude and a gray. I like resource games. Yeah, this one, this one, it doesn't seem like a lot of pieces. Well, it does. Um, not a lot of wooden pieces, I guess. This one's tough. Hey, this one's hard to like keep doing <laughs> this up to here and send him out to here, which um, gives me an ability. So I'll advance this to the next tree since I activated this back up. 
there. Not quite. This is Forum Trajanum. 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 We don't know how it's pronounced. That word right there. We have suspicions. And, um... Yeah, it's a game by Stefan Feld, who made, like, Monolith. Castle of Burgundy and stuff like that. That's the one. Very, yeah. Yes. It is very Euro. This is a, everything you do makes points. Do what makes the most points All right. for you. Um, I'm going... And that's hard to do sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to get the two money. And then during my building phase, I'm going to change one of these coins into this brown guy. And oh, then, is it a euro? Definitely. It is the euro, the euroiest euro that ever okay. euro. Is this red? Get a red building. Mm Like um, the resource games. Oh, my wait. mom has an acoustic guitar, oh, and I just learned some chords with missing the fourth string. Not this red Strings guy. Strings are well, easy yeah, to that replace. One. But then I could change these into another red, and I could do a double red. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Double red, please. So then I can put both of these out. Go there. Here and here. Correct? Mm -hmm. You do double Cool. I love Catan and Puerto Rico, Agricola, Kingsburg. I've Ooh. still never played Kingsburg. Maybe someone will play that with me at the Board Game Bash in Austin, Texas, which I will be at because I bought a flight. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Got that flight. My favorite cities I've been to. It's probably in the top five, I'd say. It is very nice. Oh, and I'm gonna move up this. And as a Texan, you know, <laughs> it, it does home. feel. It still does feel like Texas. I'm not personally from Austin, but yeah, Austin's definitely like we just went the one time to. to Go to Austin. We did the ACL, the music festival. We went. And we didn't stay too long, but it was really nice while we were there. And then that'll move me up to this. Um. Tough. Need to make my exchanges. I'm going to do this once per turn. So I'm going to move up for potential points. Let's do this. And that'll complete that. Which can give me. I have to settle for the two points, or I can move up that and potentially get more, but not guaranteed. <laughs> oh, tough decision. I have to do both for that. Moving up. And the Is the music up. supposed to be sound echoey? I mean, we barely ever, I barely hear the, the music to be on. Like, I know it's playing, but I, I don't notice it normally.
Is I it, think it's just a weird is it picking drum it up? Beat. Yeah. I mean, is it playing and then it's picking up again? Oh, no. No, it's not loud enough for that. No, I think it's just a weird drum beat. Um, it's just very subtle. I don't know. I've been thinking about just cutting the music all together. But when we get really quiet, I'm sure it's weird. <laughs> it's really just there to fill in the silence. Like, I'm having silence right now because i got to decide whether I'm going to move my little Trajan guy up, which doesn't really seem worth it. Um, you know what, we'll just live with the consequences and not do it. Don't do it. Yeah. So here's what I'll do. I'll move it up once. That could be one point there. So that'll be the one time from my, um, for filling in the, uh, the red spot. And then I'm going to take the two whites from the scales. Yeah. And then for my exchange. Carly says he likes the music. Sweet. Yeah, some people don't even notice it sometimes. I'm going to go for a coin. It is now Joe's turn. <sighs> One final turn. Mm -hmm. I'm scared because it all relies on what comes out on those two cards and if I have something and what I pick. <laughs> yeah. I need some very particular things and I don't think I'm going to draw them, so. I mean, it's just the luck of the draw, you know. Unless you can, unless you need one of that right corner. I don't need that for sure. That's this. Oh, this me. What are the symbols next to Lady Athena and Jonathan's names? Yeah, what uh, are those? They I, were uh, snowflake things. They gave to charity last year. Oh, how sweet. Oh, I have one of those because I give to Save the Music Live for the, um, the charity streams. Because I was okay. like, what about the snowflake? Like, I always, wonder, I always wonder about Sorry. that too. I guess I didn't oh, question. Okay. It was like, this for something. I green. They should give me a blue one. And then you get to move up your thing. This is one. And then that goes over there. And you want to build something? Sings. Thanks for the subscription. We heart you. Yay. We heart you. What? Joe, what is really going on over here? I'm having trouble. Alright, so I'm going to do that. You no, know you might be right about the echoing, though. These levels look like they're similar. And a red one, and I got to start a red one. Right. So if I cut this off, that cuts that off all together. Mm. Oh, no, no. Okay, so. What am I going to do? What, what? Uh, oh, no. You know, you get points if you're adjacent to the eagle. Yeah, no, but. I might be able to connect these. Oh. The next round, possibly. 
Okay. The eagle just one right. point, right? So. Yeah. Because oh. I don't have a chain. My longest chain is two. Okay. Um, so you're done. Yes. Did you get your scales? Does it still sound yeah. echoey? Let me know. Try muting the audio from the computer. Oh, that's what you did. Yeah, the thing is, uh, like those sound alerts, they go through this thing. Mm -hmm. So... All right, here you go, Joe. Put those two cards over, please. Final turn. Anybody want to call this? A boat. One's a boat. The dark, the dark tower. Dark tower and dark tower. the boat. Well, I have something in both those places. Uh oh. I don't. I, do too. I don't have anything here. So you can spend a white thing to. Oh. So what do I do now? Um, you're uh, going to let me pick from any of these I want. Oh. Well, I don't have a choice. You get to choose. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do have one in the boat. Yep. I have these two, so I'm yep. good there. So get to choosing. I'm going to think about it. I've given you so many amazing options in the past. I'm sure you'll find something. I don't see the one I want. <laughs> well, I tried to help. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Face down? This one. I could choose this. I totally yep. forgot about that thing. Yep. Never mind. You don't get to choose anything from Thanks. there. Because I got this. And I have these two. So, sorry. Oh, I Indian bummer. gift. But you didn't need any of that anyway, so it's not like it's like, oh. I forgot to choose that. I completely oh, well. forgot Probably. about this little bag. I meant to, uh, yeah, wipe out one of those corners. Whoops. We'll send one of your white guys and make it wild. Oh, I already looked at my things. Oh. Uh, eh. I was too eager to just pick them up. Uh, it's not too so noticeable. Easily, Probably too. just my musician ears working too hard. So I was even thinking, I was like, should I grab that? It's okay. You're still going to have 20 points on us, so. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's see what I want to do. So you are gonna send me something, Melissa? I'm, I'm not, because I had one here, and then I have two here. So I will still send you something, yeah. You don't okay. have to pick from the side. One or two? Two. I don't know which one. Oh, not two, no sprawl, oh, yeah. Men in Black. Didn't that movie come out and like no one noticed? <laughs> yeah, we got panned. Oh, dead? Yeah, Men in Black International or whatever yeah. it is. Like, yeah. I forgot that even came out. Didn't have like where it's like the daughter or something is now the new person? Uh, no idea. I don't think so. Would that be long enough? Has it been 20, 30 years? <laughs> Um, it's been 20 years since the first one. That was the first one, but he didn't have a daughter, did he? I don't think so. I don't think there's any relation. I think it's just the same place. Oh. All I know is Thor and the... the, the <laughs> Thor and Thor's Valkyrie. there? Thor and Valkyrie. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Thor and Valkyrie, they're on. Instead of using the cool stuff they have from Asgard, they're using alien yeah. tech. That's all <laughs> Thor and Valkyrie. Yeah. It's one of those things where they're like, yeah, why did they... What did they try or something like that? So. They just wanna. I don't want this you gave me, this junk. Yeah, I made a mistake. Cost me three points. So this I thing, made a mistake playing this game. <laughs> does this thing say that I can either slide it or flip it? No. Nope. You flip it, and from now on, every time you slide it, that that's not going to have any use in the rest of the game for you. Except this is going to... Mean, sure it's going to flip over, yes, but you're never going to be able to do the tree thing, because there aren't any trees ahead of you. You've flipped all the way to yeah. the end. Yeah. 
Well, at least I'll get the face that, here because that'll be on ten. That's What's good. What's the? Oh no. It's one more point. The face only matters at the top. The face goes to the top part. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your set's at the end, which is already there, so it's pointless for you. Oh. Dang, I might have sent you the wrong thing. Well, you already looked at what he sent you, didn't you? Yeah. If you change, I change. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the lurk. It's only worth three points to me, though. Alright, Joe. Mm hmm. Sorry. There's no, these aren't worth anything at the end, right? So, no. So what I'll did turn I see? I'm just curious. Junk. I'll turn in. I ain't no one that, that wouldn't have helped me because I need I needed this and I'm only gonna turn have in one, one color. I turned in one because I got one that get one one back. Oh, okay. One color. So keep one. There's, there's no way for me to get two greens color, and even a blue. If I, even if I didn't. For no see reason. I'm just doing this for the. I have, you know, two Instagram accounts, one for like my personal life and one for my mm -hmm. board game life, and I don't use the personal one that much, mm -hmm. but if I go there to post something and then I forget, and I happen to click open Instagram, I'm like, what is this junk? This is not board <laughs> games. <laughs> I have so I'm going to turn that into a red. I'll turn in that and dip it over red. This. You want two browns or two whites? Um, okay, two browns. I'm gonna yeah, that whites don't do anything for the rest of the game, so. Well, I'm done right after this, right? So. Oh, yeah. True. So you don't. Uh, yeah, you can send him out. That, that. I'm also put out a red. It's so bad. I'm gonna put out a red there. so addictive. I thought you were gonna put out a blue and connect that together. I was, but then I decided well, I didn't get the point. <laughs> I thought I might be able to advance this thing, so it wouldn't. If I move it, it's not gonna give me. Um, I mean, either way, I'm gonna get many points. If I have four to connect it or three connected, I get the same points. Let's see. So, and I put that down, yep. and remove that, and then I did, I did that, so I'm done. Yep. Let's spend two whites to do both. Advance to the next tree, get a gray, get a dollar. Not that I care about dollars. <laughs> so, I've got to calculate what's best for me. Or not. Because the best thing, I think, is to do that goal down there because those are worth seven points to me if I do it. Because the alternative would be build a gray building and there's no way I can build a gray building that's going to give me seven points. The most I could get would be five points. So... It'll be blue. I'll build a blue one right here. All four corners there, and then I'll send out. Oops, I did. But I've been telling everybody not else not to forget this guy to blue. I only got nine connected because somebody. <laughs> it's not as good as I got yesterday. Yesterday I got 15 points. I mean, it's almost Friday. Almost turned out. No matter what I do, I'm only getting one point, no matter where I go. If I put this here... I can't quite see them. Nope. You know that's not okay. Anyway. <laughs> so if I put the bag here, I would get three points now for this. But if I didn't do that, and took these two and built a red build, or... Well, no, I can't. Well, I could exchange... I could exchange a coin for brown and build one of those other, like, blue or green build, uh, the green building, mm -hmm. I'm still only getting one point for the eagle because it's already at 10, so I can't, mm -hmm. that doesn't help. Um, Let's get you a coin or a brown person when you place but, it. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, I mean, I already have three, and I'm only going to need two. 
if I do this, it's only going to flip this, which is only going to move the face here. It's still in the same, it's in the same place. And the ten's still in the same spot. Yeah. So that doesn't help. So what you're going to do? Six of one, half a dozen the other. Right. You know, I'm just going to make it easy. I'm just going to put this over here. Yeah, just place the bag. Be just done. place the bag. Get another coin, I guess. Just have plenty of coins for everything to be done. Okay, so you're not able to build. Nope. Jesse. All right, changing on these two guys. Uh, yellow, brown, gray, and coin. Yeah. Yeah, I was prepared to do the bottom thing, Wait, but I just completely forgot. Doesn't that do something if I completed this? This counts? Points here? The face. You already yes. did it. Yes. That's seven. You're already there. No, it counts the bottom for these things, doesn't it? Incorrect. No. Where top. does it count the bottom? Top. This. Yeah, you you just need that to shift one more time. Oh, so that. But I mean, you got. 20 you're gonna get coming. twenty points out of that. <laughs> but I'm gonna get because I have two sets of these. I was worn. I you're was gonna get fourteen points uh, out of that. Okay. Okay. So it so it doesn't matter where I put this either way. Yeah, that's a lot of points. <laughs> All right, let's go. You know um, what? I'm just gonna put it here just for giggles. I don't really need this coin. Well, then you're gonna have to pay the upkeep for it. I have three. I already had three. I don't really okay. need this coin. Just, flip the thing, then? just so I can have it flipped. I just want to flip it. <laughs> sure, it doesn't change anything for you. It doesn't change anything. It's just like, yay, I flipped it. Yay, all right. Okay. Just for giggles, because it doesn't really matter. Just take up this <laughs> one the last bit more time. Yeah. There it is. It's just, eh, uh, this isn't going to do anything for me, but I'll go and do it. So I'm going to do, what is it? Um, I sure feel better about my poor choices. This has been These with me since the will beginning be of the game. I never yeah, I put it red, out. So. This is my first tile that I had sitting here at the beginning of the game. Red and gray. Oh, wow. I'm going to do this. Remove. Place this here. Put this guy here to get one of those things. Um, let's shift up. And then this is gonna go up. Oh, and I rats get to place and a building. Holy hex. I have to recon. The whole reason I put it here was to get the three points for that thing. That's why I did that whole thing. And That's why it didn't matter. Never mind. I swapped, switched that back. That was the whole point in going here. I could here do to get a point. the big scrolls. Blue. So it was for something. That actually make a difference. Oh, yeah, it's a point. Let's do that. Let's do, um,. What is it, the change? Uh, oh, these guys. Guy. Yeah. So I'll do all these. Did I already do a gray? Doesn't matter, does it? I'll do another one. No, I'll do a scores. I had to change it back. I realized the whole reason that I did that was to get this point for this thing. Right, there was exactly. A, there was a reason for that, so I swapped it back. Oh, you can't keep track of that stuff? Also? I was like, oh, I don't know. It's the last so turn. I gotta put this by a bird for points. I think it's the best way to do it. And I don't have choices like most people. So we'll just go here. Well, most being just half. That's most. I see. I'm a positive person. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing. Final scoring. Pay for your people. I pay two. Two for the yep. people. Pay in two. I'm paying two. Which means that's not enough. So, this one's not getting paid for. Okay, next, we're gonna go to the cranes. I have no cranes. Melissa has a green and a red. I have three of each, so that's six, six points. Six points. She is going 44. To <laughs> I have no Jesse cranes. has no cranes. Joe okay. has a red crane, so it's five points. Up to 32. Okay. Next, let's move on to the gray buildings. Um, I have one right here for three points, and one more here for four, and one here for five. Five whole points, 42. The meaning of life. Melissa's got two, three. Four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Six more points, so that brings you up to 50. Yay! Jesse has, I don't know, 100 or something? 28. 28? Yeah. So one, that'll two, be what? 85? 
Because the bottom row is all di four different ones times three, so that's 12. Mm -hmm. And then the other oh, one is 12. also 12, that's 24. And then 28, yeah. Same. So I'll get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six points here to 38. Okay, next we're gonna go to the um, eagles. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 51. Melissa has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 59. Okay, one trick pony. I have Ran, you, Jesse, have 1, 2, <laughs> two. 1, 2. Joe has a 1, Two, three, four, five, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, largest connected area of envoys. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For me, nine is 12 points. One, two, up to 63. Um, Melissa has, I think, 10, right? 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, so she gets 20 points. 20 so she's points. at 59. That brings her to 79. That's already higher than last night. Yay! Approved! You You're not done yet. Jesse's <laughs> biggest so area happy. is just two, so he gets three, three points. points. One, two, three. That's right, running away with Joe that. has three. three of them here for three points. One, two, three, 46. All right, next we're gonna go to the Trajan tasks. So, oh yeah, that was why I was keeping that blue person sitting there. Okay, so I have <laughs> uh, people, four, yeah. di four buildings around each of these two, so I'm gonna get 14 points for that. One, two, three, four, up to 77. God, that was a critical mistake I made. That was a critical mistake I made, too. Yeah, that's the problem. Blue There's too guy. much to think about yeah. in this game. Um, and I then the other thing, I don't have two workers of different colors, so I don't yeah. get that. I, I have this set here, and then this set here. Okay, so that's 14 points for Melissa. One, two, three, four, 83 up to 93. Mm. Um, and you don't have any don't workers have either. Workers. Jesse? I have one set. Okay, and for you, that's worth? Uh, five. five points. One, two, three, four, five. You have the Plus bottom. one. Uh, no. He doesn't have two workers. I have two sets. This one. This one. Okay, so that's going to give you five that points each. So that's that ten points. And the crane. 46 to 56. And do you have the other thing? Yeah, I got two cranes and... Okay, so that's another five points. 56 up to 61. And that's the end. That's the end. There are no Come other on. points. That means that Jesse is the winner. See, I told you all those gray buildings. I was like, those gray buildings are going to just kill us. Well, I don't know. One more notch up, you, you got it. Yeah. But now, technically, both of us have slight teensy weensy possibility asterisks on using those uh, workers oh, yeah, at the beginning. True. Oh, yeah, Joe, you and I were actually the, the first and second place because they have asterisks on this. Yes. That's oh, true. Yay! 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 I like to refer to us as non cheaters. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Not asterisks. Post in the comments below if they cheated. No. We're not down there. They didn't cheat. Not, they didn't know. We're not yeah, down there. We didn't know. Uh, so that means Jesse wins with 95 points. Melissa was just behind him with 93. I improved. Um, and that's both of your personal bests. Um, I had just 77, and Joe had never played this game before, but still got 61 yeah. points. Mm -hmm. um, so all around a good game today. I wanted to see how much um, Melissa made uh, what, last 70. time. Last night you had, I mean, yes, 70. Yeah. Okay. So I improved, so I am pleased. I went way down. <laughs> How old is this game? About 2018. Yeah, about a year. 
I am C. I, I go to BGG. I improved my score. You did. Woo! I had 94 yesterday. And now you have 95. <laughs> yeah, 2018 is when this game came out. This, this is like heaven and nail, but there's more choices. <laughs> yeah. You know, like there was a bigger rondel and you oh had more. Because that that game, that game's a similar thing. But as that game goes along, you have fewer and fewer choices. I will like say, games. this one is very similar in style. Like if you played Macau with the multiple, multiple different choice options. Because Macau is very much like that, too. It's I can feel that Mac it's Macau-ish, yeah. Oh, never played Macau. It's yeah. not one of my favorites. Macau um, has, but you only have, like, a few things. Yeah, it's like, definitely not as many options, but it is similar in, like, you have multiple And then as it goes along, you get, you get locked out of certain things. Mm -hmm. And so this one, you don't really get too locked out of things. I think you can get locked out because last night, last time we played, Jesse really wanted to upgrade this bar, but because I was sitting to his left, mm -hmm. I never once passed him that because uh, that's what I was focusing I on. I passed him. I passed him one because I got two of them at the same time. That's another thing that, that killed me is I never got, I never pulled any of those. See, I, see what I made sure flip. to go for this bag almost at the very beginning because once I realized how you play correctly, I wanted the ability to switch out coins for workers or like a worker for a coin and just so that I had that option of like before the next turnaround if I can get two whites if you pass me something for, two white yeah it's like if you passed me something really good I'm gonna use both of them and that's mm -hmm. how I got up this scale so much because like I they know. both had that and I, I had didn't that. Okay. Mm -hmm. ever go for that yeah, I am um, only had one sure. one tile that had an upgrade on it that didn't get used so I had two down here I didn't realize these were so limited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I had both of those women's cranes. Yeah, yesterday I traded one of them off because I was like, I don't need her right now. Whoops. Well, and I have seen so far now in both games. Well, one of mine was Melissa. She sent over here. This oh, is wow. what this is what I got both turns as my, like, freebie put over here thing. And this is almost like, this is a must, I feel like. If you're going to go I for... Didn't do it. Well, if you're going to go for building out there, you would have to for What's the must? This one is game where you, you have to oh. kind of make so a... So that you can just put in Make a strategy and really stick to that strategy, even no matter... Right. Because, These two, I feel like... Because you go, oh, no, this, time, this turn I'm going to do this, and then it's, you think it's doing optimal thing, and then you, it's not. Yeah, I got the two bags, and that's when I said, okay, i got to fill this up with gray buildings. i got to yeah. start getting that 12 points right at the beginning, or at least close to it. Oh, there's my dude. That's what I needed. I, why didn't you come out? I could have won. Why did you tell me two? You had it in for me. I asked one or two and you said two. I should have never listened get, to you. That's what you get for asking you those kind of questions. Me. You could just take care of it yourself. No. I should have never Let listened. us know in the chat if you have played this Steppenfeld game or any other Steppenfeld game. We are Steppenfeld fans in this household. So um, we play them a lot. And let us know if you ever if you if there's any other Feld games you want to see us play on stream. We have access to most of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I think there's only three in the entire collection of Feld we don't have, and that's Spielmint Lucas, Name of the Rose, and his newest one that we haven't gotten because it's the brand new one. The like what is it, a two player? Or something? Mm -hmm, yeah, it's so. a two player game. Yeah, so I know it's got Abraham Lincoln on the front. It's pretty so much really. pretty much everything else. American. I think we own even like the dice and card versions of castles. It's true. Have you played card version? Of I have never played card. card the card one. Very different. Every time I ask to play it, you guys are always like, <laughs> "Well," and I'm like, "Oh, oh, well, okay then. Uh, never mind then. We'll let's play something else." I mean, we can play. I just don't see it any better than the original or the dice. The I've dice heard people one, say the it's their right. favorite of the castles. I like the roll and write one personally. But. I like the roll and write one a lot. Yeah. How does this wagon anything go? Oh, that's not wagon. That's a What's our thoughts on this? I find that even though there I are. I want to see it again. <laughs> even though there are a lot of options, I will say this. Uh, for a Euro game that seems very heavy, it actually doesn't, while you're playing it, outside of like having to choose it, the the actual gameplay of it, of like the step-by-step, -step, is not as difficult as one would think. 
Like it's just, it's very heavy because you have to have, make so many choices, but actually knowing like you do this and then you do this and you, the step-by-step -step is not very difficult. Step-by-step. Well, it's also that, that what you think you're going to do changes because somebody else is... Yeah, uh, what would they pass it? you? Yeah. I think I would try it again at two. I don't think I would go back to four on this. So at two players, this is very different shape, in sure. case you couldn't guess. Um, but that's basically the only thing that changes. Yeah, it's just so many turns go by and you just forget. Yeah. Oh. I feel like I forget. Well, well that's what I'm saying. And then things, something opens up. You're like, oh, I can complete that one. Yeah. And you go and think you're going to do that. And, and then, then you and, don't. And you, you, know, <laughs> you don't even know. Or you do it and you realize that wasn't really a, that great of a benefit. Right. It also says that this is your first time playing the game to only use one of those cards just in the last round and Jeez. don't have them in every single oh, so you round. Have three rounds to build up for it. Yep. Yeah. Well, because like Makes in the sense. very well in the very first one when it had like that like, two gray, and then you had to have the stuff. It's like that was just. But I, I had it, but I forgot to do it. I was like started yeah. pulling the corner ones off from the temple ones because I thought I would do that. I found this very helpful though. Because from the very start, point I had a goal of like, I'm gonna get these two gray buildings. This is it. This is what I'm going for. And I wish that was on the. Yeah. Oh, I see that pre-label. So it couldn't have been on the third spot. That would have been great. <laughs> but I'm talking about the double gray thing. Oh. That was on the third spot. I would have been. I would have been golden. Well, you won though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you were golden either way. Well. Could have gone on the other way, just as easily. He only won by two points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm saying. That sounds shady. Um, <laughs> two points that he stole from Melissa. Yep, he true. stole them. I don't know how I stole them, but I did. Stole the precious. Uh, this was your first time playing this, Joe. Uh, how did you feel? Well, I was lost. And <laughs> the first round, I was really like a very like lost bread. I'm very yeah, hospital. <laughs> but like French toast. <laughs> it's very French toasty on the first yeah. round. And then I kind of got it, but then still, I, the what, the more powerful ways to get points. I mean, I had no clue that the, the gray buildings gave you that many points. But like Jesse, what Jesse had until he did it, and then I was like, oh. Well, you can get just as many points from doing that thing if you do it right. You know, it's just. Yeah, I wasn't doing that right either. Oh, yeah. I, I kept missing where I had to go. I already have blue pieces. Please go in there too. Joe. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, I'll tell you what we have. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say mostly uh, not positive stuff about this game. Well, mildly positive. It just, like. <laughs> My, I would say. I didn't mind I don't have anything like negative to say about play it. something like this, this wouldn't be at the top of the list to play. Yeah. You know? That's why I said mildly positive. Yeah. I, I don't want to say that it's like horrible, but it's just like. I would say in the grand scheme of Feld games, I would play this over certain games, but not above other games. Like this is, this felt to me very similar to when we played Merlin. It is middle of the row for me. Like, I like Merlin. Not at the top, not at the bottom. Now, I definitely did prefer Merlin player. over this one for choice options, but gameplay wise, they're both in the same boat of like. Mm -hmm. How I feel about the gameplay of either one. Like I didn't like or dislike one more than the other when it came to actually playing the game. Now, option-wise, of like actually doing things, I preferred Merlin, but they're both still in the middle of the felts for me. Like I would not, I would not play them over certain games, but I would definitely play them over something else. Yeah. So middle of the pack. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, I feel like it's yeah, middle of the pack as well. It's not one that I dislike, but it's not one that I'm going to clamor to play again, especially now that we've played it yeah. twice. Um, I think it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Well, definitely if you want to play like this, okay, like I would play this before I play like Arena Roma 2. But Arena Roma 2 is oh, only for like, for, this, yeah. for like two players. So if you want a four player, you don't even have that option. Yet. What's your VGG score? I mean, I, so I, mine's I, a six and a half. Yeah, I, I definitely, at least a six and a half, for sure, at least. Maybe like six, seven, six, eight, like in that above the six, but not, at, like in between, like probably a 6.7. Yeah. So what do we have coming up? Um, I'm glad you asked. But wait. 
Jazz Moore! Oh, I thought we were already on that screen. Nope. Uh, we were in discussions. We were in the digression. Felt. So, um, on tomorrow? Tomorrow is yes, Monday? Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is Monday. We will be playing Woodlands, um, Robin Hood. Ooh, and then on Wednesday, we'll be playing Woodlands. The next one after that. <laughs> is it King Arthur, I think? Or, we already did Red Riding Hood, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. It's King Arthur. And Ooh, then. Knights of the Round Table. This weekend, uh, we might do some other stuff depending on for Gen Cant. Oh, yeah. But um, I know on Sunday we have detective scheduled. So we'll be here playing detective. We're just going to play the first case. So um, apparently that takes a little while. So tune in for that. You can help us solve a mystery. Mm. So It'll be we'll very a mysterious. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in when we're here. And we hope that you'll join us next time. Uh, one of the things we love to do around here is to spread the board game love, which means to raid or host over to another content creator here on Twitch. So we are going to oh, head over to who, Jesse? Going over to TN Fear Studios, maybe Tennessee, maybe 10. Fear Studios, they're playing One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. So let's hope Ooh. they're watching chat because they have zero followers. So why not? And this is yes. Michael Menzel's art, by the way. We didn't mention that, but this is art by Michael Menzel. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's so beautiful. But anyways, until next time, the box is closed. Yes. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Yeah.